Well, what's up and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue the Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. I'm going to put a link down below in like the description and in the comments so you can uh, go ahead and see a playlist for this. And I'm going to try to finish this game in order too. So once we finish this game, we're going to get back to the Trails of series because I was going to finish up there. But I did want to make time to do Capsule uh, Monsters because I haven't done it on the channel. Uh, also, if you like the video, support it. Share it to other people that would like this type of video. And leave a like and comment down below if you like this game or not. That'll be very helpful for the channel. Um, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We'll get there at some point. But if you know somebody that likes Capsule Corporation, I mean Capsule <laughs> Capsule Monsters Coliseum, go ahead and share it and send it to them. But anyway, let's continue. And if they don't like this game, don't don't send it to them. <laughs> like they they don't want to see this game. Send them a game they like. Now we got to deal to deal with the old grandpa. Oh, the old grandpa. Look how he's standing, too. He's standing like he ready, man. This guy ready to run him up. We're going to deal with old Solomon Grande. Uh, what's his name? Not Solomon Grande. Better than Monday. Solomon Moto. Solomon Moto going to have to lose. Oh, man. Look how he's flipping the board. Do we got the Exodia pieces? Like, I don't really know what these guys have. I see you're doing well, Yugi. Uh oh Yugi. Grandpa. But let's see how well you do against me. I won't be able to let my guard down for a second. This is going to be my toughest duel yet. That's right. I may be old, but with age comes experience and knowledge. Man, we can beat this guy. Why don't we begin, Yugi? All right. It's time to duel. See, Grandpa over there standing like he about to beat us, but we about to beat him. And I think when we beat him, we can get the next area, right? Like, this is the fifth guy. He the old Solomon Moto. I just picked the first one, man. What's that, an eight? Oh, that's a four this time. Good, I'll go first. Let's go. That way we can run up, run amok on these characters. We go out there with our best guys, and we just take them out. Now, when we fought Tail last, we didn't lose any monsters. So that was good. So he got five. Okay, he got five in the, on the board. I'm gonna have to start putting the rest of my uh, monsters in the in the queue. I'd be forgetting to put them in the queue. Okay, what he had again? I forgot to see what he had. Oh man. I guess he got dark. What what he got on the thing? I forgot. I should have been paying attention. Oh well, we're just gonna pick the things we're gonna pick anyway. So let's see. I need to level up some of these guys, but I don't know which one's gonna level up. Like I would like those guys to get leveled up. Okay, so the leg of Exodia has been doing great, <laughs> which is funny, but hey, it's been doing its thing. Let's get this Karibo. I like Karibo, man. Karibo be doing his thing. Let's get Happy Lover up in there. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in, who else we got? Uh, Pharaoh Imp. Yeah, let's get our Pharaoh Imp. It's made all the way to level three. Pharaoh Imp looking powerful. If we can get Shovel Crusher now, we can afford him. Okay, that's four of them. Uh, but I like this guy, though. Yeah, we need the Kaminari attacks, though. Wait, how many Kaminari attacks? We got four of these guys? One, two. Yeah, we got four of these guys. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be using. Wait a minute. Let me see something here. It says compatibility. Let's see if they got the stats. There they go. They got the experience there. Okay, so this guy got 85 experience. He on the verge of leveling up. 26, that ain't nothing. All right, what about this one? 64. Okay, so we're going to get this one that got 85 because he need to level up. So, Shovel Crusher might get another chance later down the road, but I don't know if we're going to deal with him right now. Did Needle Ball ever get an action? No, Needle Ball got zero experience. Oh, man. The Leg of Exodia need to be need to be fighting, though, out here. 47, huh? Karibo out here suck. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and go with... Um, let's see. We might not use this Shovel Crusher, man. Like, Shovel Crusher just going to have to kick rocks man we can have extra monsters by not using shovel crusher so let's level up the other con this one and let's get in oh man we can't get in the fire reaper i wanted to level up the fire reaper too the fire reaper look cool this is 60 can't do that i can get one of these scorpions or i can get let's get the egg leg of exodia let's get them back up in there or we can get the other karibo ready let's get the other karibo ready karibo decent all right, so we got the other Karibo ready, and yeah, 
Either that or we got to get the leg of Exodia back up in here, but, you know, that leg of Exodia. Nah, let's keep training our leg of Exodia. Our leg of Exodia good. Until he lose, he going to keep getting trained. All right, so we got our squad. We got six of them, too. Let's go. Let's go deal with old Grandpa Yugi. Okay, so we're going to put our symbol. Uh, man, it don't matter where we put our symbol. We put our symbol in the corner. All right, our symbol up in the corner. And I guess I can just let it randomly place these guys because I don't really have to care too much. Let randomly place these guys. Like, I'm sure that I trust the game to place them somewhere that's no matter. Yeah, see, they, they knew what to do. Sure. <laughs> like, I, I mean, it is what it is. I get tired of placing them on the thing. Okay, so we got some darks and some lightnings and one light monster for some reason. It's time to start. All right, let's whoop this grandpa, this Yugi grandpa. All right, let's get hmm, let's get you out on the board. Summon, Dimension the Dice. <laughs> I wish this. I wish we did have a console version of uh, Dungeon Dice Monsters. That would be nice. Summon you. All right, now who? Okay, well I guess we we limit it now. Uh, man, we we'll get another one of those. But go go ahead and get the leg. Summon the leg. All right, that's about all we can do. Cool. So we summoned our, our three pieces, and we're going to start moving them on the map. They're going to be ready. How shall, I attack? How shall you attack? You can't attack. You got to summon your monsters first. Mon guy trying to cheat, man. But yeah, um, at the time of I'm recording this, I know we're still waiting on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, old Days Collection. I hope they make a collection with these spin-off games. That'll be that'll be fantastic. Use all my to like if we get to play stuff like this with online, we don't need the AI to be fixed because we'll be able to just play it. All right, anyway, let's move these guys up in here. Like, I guess let's go right here. That way he can't kill you. Yeah. Okay, he flipping. I don't know what's happening with that. Like, I can't really tell you what's going on with that because I don't know. I guess it's switching fire and wood terrain, but I don't care about none of that. All right, let's get the leg up there. Come on, leg of Exodia. Move on down. All right, that's a, that's a good leg of Exodia right there. That's the good foot. All right, so we got the good foot up there. Uh, let's get the... Whoa, whoa, what's happening there? All right, let's get... Let's move this camera, man. This camera's always moved in a weird kind of way for me. All right, let's go ahead and get the feral imp. Get him on board. Oh, okay, he can't do nothing right now. Okay, let's hold, hold it. All right, get him on board, and I guess we can't summon the Karibo right now. Oh, you know, yeah, we can. Okay. Cool, we got everybody summoned. All right, we're going to run amok next turn. We're going to start attacking, attacking these jokers now. Because he got five and we got six. So if we lose this, that won't make a lot of sense to me. Like, I think we should be able to have this in the bag, man. Like, I, I think this game just got easier as it went. I don't remember it really being too hard as it went on. Like, as long as you got guys that you can level one up, you should be fine. Like, the way you can go wrong is to just not use the guys that you leveled up. I think that's how you go wrong in this game. Oh, man, you also go wrong with the camera being. All right, anyway, let's put them up here. All right, just get them on the board. All right, let's see. Okay, I think we can attack this Karibo, right? No, I can't get that Karibo. We can't attack nobody. Oh, wait, wait. You, you settle down right now. We'll figure out what to do with you later. All right, what about this leg? Can a leg do anything? Oh, man, the leg can't even make it. Okay, well, the leg out here stuck. Okay, what about you? I know you should be able to get this Karibo, right? There you go. There you go. Attack that Karibo. Get him. All right, that's 138. Cool. I should switch back. Okay, so we're going to move the leg up in range. Well, we'll put the leg right about here. All right, let's see. And you, actually, no, nah, that wasn't going to do anything. Man, they got them right in the right spot where I can't do anything. We'll put you right here just for some moral support. All right, you go. Oh, you can't really go nowhere. Go right here because that looks like all you can do, right? Yeah, that's all he can do. All right, you, Karibo, get on the board. Get on the board. All right. Cool. 
All right, so as long as our pieces don't lose, we should be good here. Like, I just hope our pieces just don't randomly lose. All right, that's it. Okay, he still got to awaken one of his capsules. Okay, who you attacking? Leg. What that leg ever do to you, man? Come on, leg. Don't you die, leg. Oh, the leg is... Look at that. That's a tanky leg right there. That leg can take three hits. It's a powerful leg of Exodia right there. So I guess if we beat him, we can get that arm of Exodia. And then we really be on after that. We get an arm of Exodia. You stage a comeback. Man, why the camera be shifting, man? All right, anyway. Okay, so the camera's shifting for some reason. Okay, so we can... No, we can't attack that. I can try to move him up here and try to have him be a hero, but he might be a zero up in there. Skip it. I don't even care no more. Get get in there. <laughs> like, just just get in there. I don't even care. Rush him. Tired of this game. Come on. <laughs> just get that man started. There you go. Get him started. can you take it easy on your old No. I must defeat you with extreme <laughs> with extreme measures. Okay, throw that Karibo, just throw him out there. Okay, so we got you. Uh, can you? You can't do anything, huh? Yeah, it's Feral Imp. I should have put that Feral Imp in the, in the front. Next time I will put them in the right spot. This auto ain't going to work. Auto ain't did nothing but mess with me. Oh, wait a minute. I think we got that Karibo. Yeah. Take that Karibo down. Yes. Got him. He leveled up. That man then leveled up. Good. Yeah. Now his brother over there might get defeated, but we'll see. Oh, how annoying. It's annoying? Whatever. You about to get beat, man. Got time for you to talk about, oh, how annoying. Okay, well, I guess. Well, we'll, we'll it will wait on you. Because you ain't going to be helpful. The leg ain't moving great enough. Oh, man, this thing moving like a professional. All right, yeah, go right here and... Get him started, even though it's not going to really be that great. Actually, you got the advantage, so actually this will be good. Yeah, get that leg get started. Get him started. All right, um, and you, I guess, go here. Okay, let's see what he does. Um, I'm probably going to lose the uh, one of my pieces, but whatever. <laughs> we got pieces to spare. At some point, we're going to get everybody leveled up, so it won't really matter too much. Like, right now, I think we just at the beginning trying to get people leveled up, right? So, like, look, they about to get this guy. They about to jump him. Look at that. Oh, they about to cook him. <laughs> I sacrificed him. Oh, he about to get jumped. <laughs> oh, man. Whoops. Oh, man, we ain't even looking so great right now. We looking like we just out here don't know what we doing. He got jumped man look at this oh man they getting jumped right now oh no that's a tank right there though man that piece over there tanking oh now you want to wake up that what is that what is, what's that card called grandpa i don't know what they said it was called but anyway his time coming though we sacrificed the guy but now now he ready all right so okay so you can get him okay good Okay, Feral Imp, go in there and attack. Get him started. Oh, he destroyed. Oh, finish him, Feral Imp. Finish him. Get them all out of the way then. Cool. All right, that Feral Imp over there. He late, but but he mattered when he got up there. Oh, man, you won't matter. So Leg of Exodia still can't do nothing. Okay, you're going to hold off, Leg of Exodia. Hold off. All right, so you okay, good old Karibo can get up in there. Get on up in there, Karibo. Get that sucker. Avenge our monster. Okay, now this Karibo, is this the Karibo that's going to level up? Or is this the Karibo that's not? Let's see. No, this is the one that's not. Okay, so this one must already be at level two. I didn't bring that other one. Okay, I should have brought that other one. Should start to level these guys up just in case things get, you know, desperate later on. Okay, put him right there. Okay, so they got two monsters over there, so I might not want to be too hasty right here. Like, it's not much I can do, but... 
I guess bringing this right here ain't too bad. Like I'm trying to be smart about this, but go right there. That monster's a tank anyway, so it ain't gonna matter too much. Uh, and the leg. The leg's been attacked though. I don't want the leg dying. So let's put the leg here. Alright. Okay, that should be good. And I don't know. I guess I move this thing up. I don't know where to move it. Alright, cool. So we're doing good. We might lose another piece, but after this, we should be able to get this guy. Like, somebody might go down. Like, look. See, that one might go down. Like, this insect man, like, he about to take a lot. Look at this. Yeah, he almost done. Yeah, they, that guy probably going down. Okay, but he survived. Okay. He looked almost finished off, but he alive. Look, these guys getting strong now. But it's okay. No matter. They're going to be gone. They're going to be history after a while. Okay. Let's see. Let's move that camera. That camera is just horrible for some reason. Let's see, can you even... Oh, he got a special ability. What's that? SPA. SPA. What's that? Increase the dark map attribute effect rate by 13% in last one turn. Oh, sure. Sure, do that. Do you get experience for doing that? Oh, he just took a whole bunch of points. Oh, no, we shouldn't let him do that. Sucker took all our points. All right, anyway, um, so, like, I want this thing to beat somebody so it can start getting some things on the, on the road. Okay, so we're going to see where the leg can go. The leg can get here and take that thing on. So we're going to make that happen. So let's go ahead and move you. Yeah, we'll move you here. We'll start. Oh, man, I want the leg to attack it first, though. But there's not much I can do, though. This guy's just in my way. If I can beat him, though, I can go ahead and do that, though. So let's go ahead and move Karibo up. Let's move our Karibo up. Oh, we can't? Okay, well, we can't. So we got to get this guy because we can't move nobody nowhere for some... Man, this guy just all up in the way. Okay, so we're going to have Karibo attack it. Wait, no, no, no. We want, we want this guy to attack it. Yeah, we want you to attack it. And then we're going to move Happy Lover to attack it. We're trying to do something out here, but I don't think it's, it's happening right. Like, I don't want to lose another piece, but this is get, this is going bad for some reason. All right, go ahead and attack this guy. Attack that sucker. Destroy! Even though that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, let's see here. I think I can move you here. and then Yeah, and then you can attack that. So let me move Karibo here. Okay, lunch and assault, Karibo. Lunch your assault. That thing got a lot of health. That's not good. Aw, oh, man, we can't even finish the job. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to lose that happy uh, lover thing already. It's already about to get beat. Okay, that's about it. That's all we can really do. So let's go ahead and move you back. Just in case he tried to come down here. So we about to lose another piece, man. We messed this up. <laughs> that piece is too weak. It's like, it's hard to level up some of these guys. Like, some of these guys never get a chance out here. They just be doing, look, he about to die. He was happy to get rid of him, too. Was hoping the AI would get stupid and not get rid of him, but whatever. He gone. And he sure is gone. All right, anyway. The camera looking bad again. Okay, so that guy gone. Uh, let's see here. Let's. Who need the experience more? I guess the Karibo does. I don't know. Wait, wait, can you beat him? Let's see if you can beat him. Attack. Can you beat him? Can't even beat him. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna get him the uh, the stuff because I'm gonna let the Karibo uh, attack him too. But I want him to get the the stuff. Okay, Karibo, come on. Don't let us down, Karibo. Come on. Punch this sucker. Sucker got a lot of health. Okay, you go ahead and get this guy. 
get him. That night got to go down. I didn't know what his name was at first. I thought he was Grandpa for a second. Why Yugi's Grandpa got him anyway? He's a boy. No, you ain't going to ever win. But yeah, that that's weird. It's like he's supposed to... Whatever. You've improved your skills greatly, Yugi. I did? But you held your own extremely well. Man. <laughs> but don't let your guard down. The path ahead of you is still long and very competitive. I know, but I promise to defeat my opponents and win the tournament. Yeah, I promise to defeat my opponents. You to your promise, Yugi. Good luck. My goodness. Thank you. I promise to defeat them and win the tournament. <laughs> okay, so the symbol leveled up. What the symbol doing with the level up? Oh, it gets... Okay. Uh, I guess the base AP would be good. Effect strength. I, does that even matter? PP, I don't think we need any more of this, though. I know base AP would be good, though. Maybe. Like, maybe as we get better monsters, this would be good. But let's do base AP. Uh, now, what's the PP again? I forgot what it was. Okay, maybe we'll just get a little bit of everything up in there. Uh, effect strength. Like, the effect strength will make our dark monster stronger. So, I guess we can do that, too. Because at this point, I, I don't really know. Like, Okay, the base AP is the ability points. And the PP is the uh, power to attack. And from what I've seen, that's probably fine. Like, I think we need uh, effect strength. Hmm. Wish we could get more MP. Because that, that'd be useful. But I think we good with ah, effect strength. I don't even care, man. Like, do I even care about this effect strength? <laughs> like, unless I'm going to be the dark master at some point. But I think we'll leave that alone. We might work on that if we get the dark stuff. But I don't know. I feel like if I can move all my gas faster, I can do more. But we'll get effect strength. Skip it. One of everything, because I don't know. What's this? Select and oh yeah, select two of the, the thingies. Okay, so he got another Karibo of his own. Useless to me. Let's get this arm. Want one of them arms. And I guess I get this guy because everybody else I had access to already. So I get this guy. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, thank you, uh Grandpa Gohan. I mean Goku. I mean <laughs> Grandpa, what what's your name? Grandpa, what's your name? Alright, we 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 shall save. We shall save. We shall save. All right. So let's go ahead and take out the next guy. Next challenger. Step on up and get stepped down. So now we're going to do the next tier of the tournament. So I'm going to try to finish that whole tier of the tournament in this video, hopefully. These battles take a little bit longer than I anticipate, but I do want to finish that area. So we're going to finish uh, that area. Area two, yeah. We go let's go on down to area two. Now actually before I get down here, okay, so oh we can just fight whoever we want in it. Okay. Okay, so these like the Duelist Kingdom jokers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the hall right now, the entrance hall, and we're gonna start putting in all the things in our loadout. That way we can have full access to what we want. So let's manage the monsters. Oh wait, no, let's get out of there. We should probably go to the shop first, see what we got in the shop. So, okay, this game take a minute to load. But anyway, let's go into that shop first. See if they added anything new in the shop. That would be nice if they did because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with MP points that they giving me if I can't get none out of that shop. You're off to a great Yes, I won a few battles and accumulated monster points. True, I've gathered a bunch of new monsters for you. Okay. Hmm, before I forget, I have to tell you that the monsters you can get from me won't always be the same. I recommend examining the monsters closely. 
Okay, so they got some abilities. Okay, so which monsters should I get? What's the fun in telling you everything? Oh man. Check them out for yourself. Oh, one more thing. If you have monsters you no longer need, you can exchange them for monster points. Select sell from the and select the monsters you no longer need. Ah, I see. So I can sell those jokers. All right, let's you see. Like to do. All right, let's go to back. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got time wizard up in here now. Okay. So he said some of these are a little bit different, but what you mean by that? Like, they look the same, man. Yeah, they look real the same. All right, here go a time wizard, though. I feel like we got to buy a time wizard. Like, look at this. Look at them. Okay, you got Ginning, the Ginning, not the Chunin, but you got the Prism. Okay, where are dark monsters at? So we already got, do we got the left leg? Or do we have the right leg? So we might buy this left leg so we can have the other Exodia piece. We're going to put them on the thing. Okay, we got Needle Ball. Woo, Summon Skull up in here. Oh, yeah, get that Summon Skull, man. Now we talking. Now we talking. Now our dark ability is looking good now. Who else up in? Flame Manipulator? You ain't quite Flame Source, man. What you doing? All right, there go the Penguin Soldier. The Soldier. Man, now we talking. I see Great White up in here. Oh, man, the Great White. Yeah, I want the Great White, too. All right, anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, I don't care about that dinosaur, right? Oh, Baby Dragon up in there. Let's get a classic. Let's get a Baby Dragon, man. Got to get the anime ones. Needleworm? <laughs> man, I don't know why Needleworm is here and what he going to do, but, you know, Needleworm is out here, man. All right, Needleworm got some good move stats, too, though. We might pick up that Needleworm. Oh, we got the gear of the moving fortress? Now, is the attack even that good? I like the gear of the moving fortress. Look at him. He costs so much MP, though. We'll, oh, okay, okay. He the last thing up in here. Man, we might get this guy. Look at him. He look impressive. He looks impressive. Let's go. All right. So there wasn't too much new stuff here. I see there's a time wizard up in there. So maybe they allude into the fact that I can start fusing them or something. Like, what's the difference between these guys? Like, they all look the same. And he's talking about some details, but I don't see none. Look. Look the same to me. Nothing different about him. Like, maybe he's just lying. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and... uh. Let's get that time wizard too. And we might pick up that extra needle ball too. Cause like if we are gonna make a dark themed deck, we might be able to like flesh that out a little bit more. So we're gonna get you and or we might leave it alone and just keep our points going. But we'll we'll probably get one of these needle balls. Like we should probably play into the uh dark theme. And we got enough scorpions and enough of these guys, so we should be fine. Like, I'm thinking about getting some of these other guys, but I mean, I don't really know what for. Like, if I was going to be wood, I could have got this Needleworm. And Needleworm always seemed good to me for some reason. I don't know why he seemed good. He just always did. And that thing, I don't know. <laughs> that's Karama? That's what they called him? Oh, man. That's that's the Nantel Fox right there, huh? All right, Great White always look cool, too. But ain't nothing we can do with him. So, we got our guys. Let's, let's press start and let's go. All right. So, we bought... We bought that summon skull. I can't wait for him. Oh, I ain't bad no more, man. Yeah, I don't need none of these. But yeah, we got that summon skull, man. We we about to be decent now. Yeah. We got the summon skull. I'm happy now. All right. Let's go ahead and manage these monsters, man. Manage the monsters. So it looks like I can choose from the pool of all the guys I got. So let's build unit. Yeah, because from what I saw, we were able to... Yeah, we were able to select all of these guys. So, I guess I just put them in there to select, right? And Happy Lover just died. So, let's go ahead and put in a Time Wizard up in there. Scroll down, get the Time Wizard up in there. Um, I think that already in there. Throw him up in there. It's our pool. Oh, there go a Baby Dragon up in there. Yeah, throw that Baby Dragon in there. See who else we got up in here. Okay, that's the second feral imp. Okay, hit the leg. Hit the leg of Exodia. Now, I need to put these legs and hands like somewhere next to each other, I guess. So let me, uh, can I swap? Wish I could swap. Like, let me get rid of that. I want them legs next to each other or something. Like, 
just just get out of here real quick guys i'll put y'all back in just just wait a minute okay so let's let's go ahead and get them legs of exodia where they at oh yeah they gotta be oh they they in the uh deck thing let me get rid of you get rid of you all right cool Hey, let's put those legs of Exodia's next to each other. I don't know why, but I'm I'm fascinated with getting all the pieces of Exodia. Like that'd be cool. Okay, throw Summon Skull up in there too, right there, right there. Yeah, Summon Skull right there. All right, uh, I might start training this Needle Ball so he can start getting on the ball. All right, so we got Needle Ball up in there. Uh, our common area attacks need to be somewhere near the the top. Here's a level two one. Let's put him up in there, definitely. Okay, we got him up in there. Um, yeah, we're just gonna fill out everything for now, and then we'll start. We'll start having like a full roster of guys at some point, but right now let's just put everybody up in here, cause who can't we use right now? Everybody's counts now. Okay, get that second Pharaoh imp up in there. That other Karibo up in there. Like everybody matter right now. Skeleton, you might you might matter. I don't know. Petite Moth, why not? Throw him in there. Jewel board, Bird, maybe. Hanawama, maybe. Maybe they all matter. I don't know. The the, the Fire Reaper, the uh, Flame Viper. Okay, cool. Now that's everybody. Everybody is in there now. So we got everybody up in there. Cool. We got access to the full roster. So let's get up out of here now. Let's exit. Okay. So we doing our thing now, and I think every time we beat like a, a tournament, they let us, you know, they let us be right. So let's go back. And I know this video is taking a while. All we did was like customize some stuff, but that's capsule monsters, man. Capsule monsters take a minute. It's fun though, and we definitely gonna get past this. We getting through this game. All right, so now let's go to area two. Let's go. Let's make our way. All right, so we are gonna deal with Weevil first. Hmm. We we should probably deal with no no this guy got thunder he gonna beat us right or does dark no earth beat thunder okay so we don't really beat wait we beat this right don't we beat earth what did dark beat like I think we can just beat Rex right I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we can just cook Rex like I forgot what dark beat man. Like, I think light be... Yeah, I think we be Earth, right? Dark be Earth. Yeah, we should be able to get Rex. Let's get Rex. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> like, I just want to take Rex out, man. I think we got Rex in the bag. He gone. Rex can't do nothing to us. Look at Rex. Like, yeah, I am the man. All right, Rex Raptor. The dino, dino band got to go down. Look at this. Miasma from Tales of Abyss. But yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Early Days Collection, I'm I'm happy that they got online support on there. That online support gonna come in handy. Oh, for you, Yugi. he just came from the shadows. And here is you, Rex That's right, Yugi. My goodness. Now come on, I gotta humiliate you like a Chumpasaurus Rex. A Chumpasaurus? Go ahead and try. It's time to duel. That is funny. He like go ahead and try. He's like, it's time to do. All right, let's pick our thingy. Okay, so we got two this time. That's not that's not the greatest right there, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, CPU is going first. Man, I want to go first, but oh well. Okay, just just place it here. Wait, what do you mean all set? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, I get to choose where. Okay, so I can either be here. Can I be here? Oh, okay. So I can choose to. Uh, I want to be on this side or that side since I'm going first. Uh, I don't want to be by that wasteland stuff. So I, I guess. I think I get to move faster if I'm over here, though. I think I will rather be over here, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick over here. I'm going to be over here, Rex Raptor. You figure that out. I'm going to show enough be right here. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to see all the people up in here now. There we go. We got them all up in here. Okay, so we got 600 MP. 
oh man, it's time for that summon skull. We gotta get that summon skull tested out. Where he at? Where that summon skull at? Hey, it's summon skull. Okay, so we got. Oh wait, that ain't summon skull. Stop. Okay, summon skull. Okay, we got that summon skull up in the game now. Okay, so we got our Pharaoh. You know, I should level up this Pharaoh, but whatever. Forget that Pharaoh. Okay, so we're going to need some, uh, maybe we need some, uh, no, no, Earth is, he got Earth monsters, so that's not going to help us too much. So we might have those lightning guys sit up out of this. Okay, we might put in Needle Ball for the first time. Needle Ball might get a chance. Throw in Needle Ball. Uh, let's see. Uh, so he might have some Thunder monsters for some weird reason. Let's, let's try leveling up Time Wizard. I just want to bring him out. Okay, we got Time Wizard out here. Hmm. Okay, we got our Exodia pieces. I need to start getting them ready, too. Okay, here's our Karibo. He a veteran. That Karibo a veteran. All right, here's a good leg of Exodia. Throw him in there. Oh, so we got a, a limit of certain monsters, too. Okay, so we trained that leg. Let's train these this, this leg and this hand. Actually, why would I even care about training a leg and a hand if that's the case? Man. Maybe I don't care about the Exodia pieces. I don't <laughs> I don't really know what I'm, I got. I got points now. I can actually put some good jokers up in here now. I'm not confined to sucky monsters all day. Now, what was uh, this guy's at? Four experience, man. How much experience does someone have? 47. That's a little bit better. Okay, we might just throw these legs in here and call it a day out here, man. I don't know. Like, um, because I don't see. Okay, let's get this baby dragon trained up. So let's train up this baby dragon. Cause he's baby dragon. Gotta train him up. Okay, we got. Um, I guess we'll put these legs in. These legs and these hands, man. Throw these hands and legs in. Although these legs and hands gonna get beat. Okay, let's throw you in. And let's throw a leg in. Uh, leg or the hand, man. Okay, we'll throw in the leg. With two legs right now. Yeah, our legs should be able to do it. All right, we got that summon skull though. We got that summon skull. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and put put the the deck master all the way back there, whatever you want to call. Him. We're gonna manually place this time. All right. So we're gonna throw out um we're gonna throw out our strong guys first. So people like Feral Imp gotta get in there in the front lines. Get on up in there, cause he's a veteran. All right. So um, the the leg throw that leg in there. That leg was pretty decent. Uh, Karibo. Throw him up there in the front, too. Well, actually, throw him right here. Yeah, throw that. Oh, no, Karibo going to get hit by poison. Throw that Karibo right there. Okay, so we got Baby Dragon. Uh, yeah, throw Baby Dragon right behind him. Okay, we got Summon Skull. How does Summon Skull move? Okay, Summon Skull move decent. Throw him right there. Okay, Time Wizard. Okay, Time Wizard move like that. Okay, throw Time Wizard right there. I look pretty good. Uh, how you move, Needle Ball? Okay, Needle Ball move decent. Uh, throw him Needle Ball right. No, not there. Not there, Needle Ball. Yeah, Needle Ball go right there. All right, and the leg of Exodia, how you move? You move like a like a weirdo. All right, but throw him right there. Cool. So we got eight. We got eight of them up on the board. How many you got, Rex Raptor? Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, good. That sucker ain't got eight. Thank goodness, man. I'm about to say that sucker got eight. All right, now we got eight guys up on the board now. We ready now. That's way better than... How many did we have before? Five, six? Now, which monster should I feed my dinosaurs with? Man, forget your monsters. Our monsters are better. Okay, so maybe now we will be needing more uh, AP now because if they doing it like this... We might want more AP instead so we can just summon more guys at the beginning. Didn't know how that was going to go. But we know now. We learned through trial and error. It's my turn. Like, forget the field boost. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. Let's, uh... Okay, let's get him ready. Get on out there. Get the leg. The leg of Exodia. Okay, who are you? Oh, Karibo, yeah. 
Actually, I might get this other leg up. <laughs> get that other leg up and ready. Get the other leg up and ready. Because Rebo going to have to wait. He's going to have to sit this out for now. All right, that's all I can do. Two legs and a feral imp. Let's go. <laughs> Two legs and a feral imp. He going to mash you up? He going to mash you up. Dino chow, he called it. You can't stop me, man. I got the leg. The leg of Exodia. Where he going? What is that? Whatever. Anyway, I don't know what he got out here. He got any monsters out here, man. Okay. So we got more. Uh, let's go ahead and get this, this Summon Skull. Woo! Summon Skull. Summon Skull. Had to summon him. Can we summon this baby dragon too? Hey, let's move these guys first before we start doing any of that. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. They coming to get us. Okay. Move just right up there. Not too much, man. Get beat. Yeah, right there would be good. All right, you, the leg, will be going here, I guess. Okay, we ain't moving too much out here. Oh, we didn't do too much. We summoned Summon Skull and moved some guys. And that, oh, we can awaken the uh, Karibo. There we go. Get the Karibo ready. Okay, well, we're doing something, but it's, man, maybe there is more strategy than this than I thought. But anyway, we're going to figure it out. We got to beat. He got Karibos over there, man. Rex Raptor ain't out here running monsters like how I thought. He coming to get my deck leader. I see him. Is that the head of Exodia that Rex Raptor got? Wait a minute. Let me scroll over there. Is that the head of Exodia? That sucker got the head of Exodia? Wait a minute, Rex Raptor. Look, like you got the head of Exodia. Where is Let me see that. Oh, no, that's that's the Shovel Crusher. Okay. About to say, I thought this sucker had the head of Exodia. Kind of nonsense. Okay, move that Summon Skull on up. He'll do something at some point. All right, let's start attacking. Okay, we can get that Karibo on. Yeah, let's get that Karibo good. Get, get him ready. Hit that Karibo. 142. Okay, cool. That Karibo on the rocks. You better leave my monsters alone. I'm going to get your monsters, man. Get you. No monsters for you. I get that shovel, man, too. Oh, I can't put him right here, though. If I put him right here, he gone. They going to get that leg. <laughs> that leg going to be as good as gone. But I can beat that Karibo, though, right? Wait a minute. No, I can't even hit the Karibo. Oh, man. This strategy is hard, man. Got to be strat strategic. Can't be strategic out here, man. Uh, I think this is strategic, though. Get this sucker. Get him. Destroy him. That's the leg of Exodia right there. It's a powerful leg. One monster down. Come on. This has created an opening. You're annoying me. Come on, you. Here I go. Uh-oh. Can't move there. Let's see here. Okay, let's look into moving this Karibo or something. Okay, well, I don't know where I would move the Karibo. Uh, let's see. I guess I could move the Karibo here just to have him move somewhere. Okay, let's awaken this baby dragon. Summon! I guess that's about all I can really do. Okay, hopefully uh, our one leg don't get attacked. Let's see how this leg get treated. Like, hopefully this leg don't get swarmed. Uh-oh. They're attacking that leg. And yeah, this leg can survive. This leg got a lot of health. Like, how much health this leg got? Yeah, this leg this leg can take three hits. Leg is powerful. Uh-oh. Now, this leg can't take too many hits, man. This leg about to get bullied. Oh, no, this leg's strong, too. Them legs be powerful, man. Are you coming out to fail him? You better leave fail him alone, man. I like fail him. Oh, no. How much? Okay, good, good. Fail him still in here. Man, this sucker coming out to fail him. Uh-oh, the leg. Y'all better leave that leg alone, man. That leg is trying to hang on. No, he just got out here. That leg was so young, and now he getting beat. He getting bullied. I'm gonna win with 
And he got so much AP. I didn't have all this AP. Wait, what's this? Thing summoning like a synchro summon. Uh oh, that two headed. Uh oh, that show sure enough is the two headed king rat. Two headed king wreck you. That's what he called two headed king wreck. We about to go down. All right, so we brought the time wizard up in here like we was doing something. But <laughs> let's okay. Let's see. Let's see what we go do here. Okay. Let's 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 pivot out here. Let's see here. Oh no, that ain't right. Okay, we move them right here. We can start attacking whatever that thing's supposed to be. Like, let's just do it. Like, Karibo, you gonna have to get hurt. Like, get get right here, Karibo. Get into me, asthma. Get this guy started. Come on, Karibo. Get him started. Whoa, Karibo hit him heavy. Good. Get that man started. Wow. Get him started. He he mean business now. Okay, we got the summon skull. Okay, what can you do, baby dragon? Okay, baby dragon can go in there and get this guy too. Yeah, come on. Let's go get these jokers, man. Now here. Okay, well, let's go wait. Let's see who else can attack, though, because we need a combination attack. Can a Summon Skull also get him? No, Summon Skull can't get him. Summon Skull can get that guy, though. Yeah, all Summon Skull can do is get this guy right here. Okay, so what we're going to do with that knowledge is. Because we want that Summon Skull to move at some point. So we're going to move you here. And yeah, we're going to have you start working on this. This guy, that scorpion. Let's come and get that scorpion. Come on. Give me that scorpion. That scorpion is mad now. Come on, you. Oh, that scorpion almost through. I should have probably hit that scorpion with somebody stronger, though, to be honest. Anyway, uh, let's move you. Oh, wait, he can't go. No, he can't really do much. Okay, yeah, move you here. Summon Skull, get you some experience, man. Get you some experience out here. On the battlefield with some experience. There you go, Summon Skull. Okay, so Summon Skull and took somebody out. That's good. Um, okay, we got Baby Dragon and we got the leg over here. The leg. that that This leg look crippled, man. Okay, so this leg can't really do anything right now. So the leg gonna retreat. Um, pull that leg back out of the battlefield, man. Get that leg up out of there. Okay, I moved the leg back. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to finish that guy off. Or I could get that guy started and then just start getting him, but I don't know. None of it really makes any sense. Actually, let's see how much we can do on this guy, actually. Let's, let's keep you right here, right where you at, right where you stand. Let's see, can you beat this guy? I oh, can't, okay. Just wanted to know if you could. Yeah, I probably messed up. I probably should have had him attack this guy in the first place. And then had the leg double up on... Well, the leg couldn't reach him anyway, though. So, I don't know. All I can tell you is I messed up. Somebody gonna die. <laughs> like, since I messed up, one of my guys is dying. Let's see how much we can do to this guy. We can't kill him. Oh, man. That guy got a lot of health, so he wasn't going anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the baby dragon try to get this guy. And we will have him take out that thing over there. Like that's how we're going to do this. Because that guy got a lot. He's going to take, some, he gonna take some, some, some elbow grease. So you, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you. No, not attack this Karibo, man. Unless you can beat him, can you? No, you can't beat that Karibo. I'm going to have you move up. I'm going to have you go. And get this guy. Beat him. Yeah, he good and gone. He's good and gone. Look at him. Gone. All right, so he gone. He's been out of here. Uh, We're going to awaken the, the needle ball. Let's get the needle ball on the ball. Let's get him going. All right, that's all we can do is get that needle ball going. And Oh, man, he took 25. The baby dragon gonna take 25? Oh man, baby dragon took 25. Oh, baby dragon ain't got much. Uh oh. I take damage. That's unfortunate. Okay, so hopefully we can turn over a new leaf and get that Rex Raptor guy. Because if we don't, we. This baby dragon about to get sacrificed. <laughs> man, we lost baby dragon. Like, baby dragon can't hang with the big dogs today. Look at baby dragon getting pieced up. 
Are you attacking Feral Imp? My Feral Imp ain't dead, is it? I oh, mean, my Feral Imp starting to get depleted. Leave my Feral Imp alone, man. Oh, the leg. Okay, the leg's still alive. It's a powerful leg, man. That leg ain't going. Leg is good. Uh oh, that King Rex. That two-headed King Rex. All right, so that's a powerful leg right there. He ain't going. Every move is another step. Ain't no future for us. We doomed, Yugi. We doomed. All right, so we got the Summon Skull out here, and the Summon Skull got some power behind him. I know he do. Now he can start getting some guys, and we're going to have to start getting some guys. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is, let's see. Let's, see, let's move this Karibo into position. Okay, Karibo might have to take some more damage. Let's see. Get right here, Karibo. Get this Karibo down. Get him going. Okay, good job, Karibo. Good man. All right, quiet you. Let's, let's, okay, we move Karibo right in there. Right into the... Okay, we might sacrifice this guy, man. But it's all for the greater good out here. Unless we can put this... Yeah, there's nothing else he can do. Okay, so you, you just just take this Karibo out. If you get sacrificed as a leg, it is what it is. Get this Karibo. Put him out of here. Good. Get him out of here. Oh, no. We taking some pieces off the board, man. I ain't got time for this, man. Some pieces must be going. Even if it's my own pieces. We coming to get you. Oh, he can't move? Oh man. What kind of leg of Exodia are you? My goodness. Okay, so the leg of Exodia can't move like that for some reason. Okay, so we go. No, we got to move it out the way. Because I want Summon Skull to do something. So I need you out of the way. Let's put you. Uh... Let's see here. Yeah, I think I will put him here. Because he won't be in the way, I guess. So get him out of the way. Throw Summon Skull over here so he can start launching an assault on this guy. Now, wait a minute. If I have Summon Skull take this guy out. Wait, can he? Okay, what I might want to do is... Let me see real quick. I want Summon Skull starting this. I want you to come out here with... Can you come out here with anything? Oh, man, you can't do nothing. So you just can't help us. Okay, so Feral Imp cannot help us right now, which is unfortunate. That is very much unfortunate. Okay, so Feral Imp, let's leave him alone right now. Now, can Baby Dragon start an assault on this guy? I think Baby Dragon can. Okay. So Baby Dragon is going to go right here, and we're going to have Baby Dragon launch his assault. Like, Baby Dragon about to get sacrificed, man. Like, it's all good. Baby Dragon was nice, but he's about to be nice and gone. You can't. Okay, we're going to move Summon Skull right here in range. Get you. Come on. Summon Skull. I want Summon Skull to get the level up. Baby Dragon like a lost cause. <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's awaken this guy. Summon. That's that time wizard. All right, let's go ahead and move Needle Ball. Come on, move, Needle Ball. Okay, he can't move, so yeah, he might. Feral Imp might get dusted out here, and I guess we'll move this right over there. Wait, let's move him closer, right there. Nah, that's probably not the best spot, actually. Eh, oh well. How do I end? Okay, end my turn. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, Karibo getting beat by uh, the casualties of war over there. His monster's not getting hurt by that, too. That's the weird part. Like, why just my guys getting hurt? Uh-oh, one of them legs getting taken out. Aw, oh, man, taking out the leg. Well, that leg head tried, but he gone. I should have put the animations on so I could see Rex Raptor's uh, two-headed King Rex attack and get down. But, oh, well. So, we're going to get his Rex Raptor after this. Look, taking out my baby dragon, too, man. We getting slaughtered out here. It's okay. He he down to his last two guys. So all we got to do is take these two jokers out. And ain't nothing he can do no more. And we had lost our leg and our baby dragon. But we about to get this man. He going down. 
All right, so let's get started with you. Because I believe if we put you here, okay, yeah, right here, you can get somebody. Now you can get that, uh, that two-headed King Rex started. So let's get him started. And we did a lot to him. You can't fight. Well, we gonna get you. Don't you worry about that. We show sure enough gonna get you. Okay, we can't move you right. Oh, okay, but we can move you here and then you can do some stuff. Cool. You go ahead and get this guy worked. Put some work on him. Put some work on him. There you go. 166. Ah, oh, he almost gone. Needle ball decent. That's the needle ball, man. Needle ball got you on the run. Hmm. Okay, so Tavers has got some pretty good movement. That's good. He can't help us now, though. Hmm. Okay, let's see if the leg can actually do something out here, though. The leg might be able to team up with him to take out the king, two headed King Rex, though. Yeah, I believe the leg can help us. Okay, so let's see if he can take out the two headed King Rex by himself. Like if he can. The leg might not be necessary at all. Oh, okay. He can take him out by himself. Okay, let's see if the leg can actually take him out, though. If the leg can take him out, then we really don't need uh, him to do it. No, no, no. He can't do it. The leg, man, the leg suck right now. So this leg about to be cooked. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have him take out the... Well, actually, we're going to move him here and have him take out the two-headed King Rex. Two-headed King Rex is about to go. Good. A two-headed King Rex has been defeated. Yeah, I want to level up. Why would I want to level up? Summon Skull on level two already. There you go. Hey, that's Summon Skull, man. You got to get him right. All right. Anyway, let's put you... In a spot where you're not going to get hurt no more, man. All right, there you go. And you, uh, Exodia Leg, going to be right here on the edge because just don't want him dying. And we'll put Time Wizard somewhere. Where Time Wizard going? We'll put Time Wizard right in there. All right. And we're just going to end our turn right there. That's all we need to do. All right, next turn, we're going to take out Rex, and he'll be gone. Coming out of time with it, huh? Time magic is going down. I like time with it, though. We're going to keep that supporting it. We're going to keep supporting time with I like time with I like the ones from the anime. So, anytime we see them, we just going to run them, man. They, they, they are our favorite ones. We want to level them up as much as possible like we did Summon Skull. Summon Skull got leveled up. Uh, let's see. And we can get some strong monsters now. So, this is this decent. Um... Let's see, who should I have take them out, though? I need some levels on, uh... What? Oh, what? What the... Okay, anyway, I need some levels on, uh... What? How many... How much experience? Is... Oh, this isn't the other leg. So he on three. He on one. So I guess I need time with to take this guy out. Or maybe the, the ball guy. Like, I guess I'll let time with to take him out. Yeah, I want Time Wizard with that experience. Give, give it to Time Wizard. Good job, Time Wizard. Cool. This can't be. This isn't possible. Yeah, I want my favorites, man. I want the anime characters up in here taking them out. That's how a sucker be get beat, man. Yeah.
All right. It was a close match, Rex Raptor, but I'm the winner. Right, let's get this started. There's no need to stick around and rub it in. Hurry up and go to the next stage. <laughs> you told me to hurry up and go to the next stage. That's fun. Goodbye, Rex Raptor. And now we got our points, which is great. Okay, as you can see, our time wizard is looking more time wizardy. Thank goodness. Okay, nobody got enough to go. Oh, that leg, like he leveled up. Yeah, that leg is made to the big time. Level three. It's a shame, too, that the rest of them could. Okay, let's get that two-headed king rags. I see him. We're going to definitely not get him. All right, cool. So I might get the shovel crusher, too, because, I mean, here's Tariki, but, man, skip Tariki. <laughs> like... Like, I, I guess Shovel Crusher is better than Tariki. Wait, actually, Larvas was decent, though. This was a tank, wasn't it? But can we buy these Larvases? I think I saw the Larvases and Tarikis for, for sale. Like, I should have paid more attention to that shop. But I, I know I saw him on sale. Um, Tariki, I don't know. But Tariki, I don't know if I care about Tariki. N then again, this guy costs so much, man. Like... He costs just so much. And we got one of him already. So we might get a Tariki. Let's get a Tariki, I guess. Because I don't see the point in getting more of him. Get a Tariki. All right. So we, we got Tariki and we got uh the uh, the two-headed King Rex. So I feel good about that. And, yeah, we'll save. We'll save. Now, I'm pretty sure I could grind these guys and fight them over and over again and get more things from them. I, I believe so, right? I can keep getting the two-headed King Rex until I got, like, three of them. But, you know, we, we going straight through story. So, you know. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right. They make me want to go to the shop, but I think we fine. I don't think we need to hit the shop. Um, I hope that two-headed King Rex is already on our team, right? So what I actually might do soon is I might, uh, when we go back to the shop next, I might start changing some things so that I can, okay, here's my, so two-headed King Rex won't help us with her, but we can go right to uh, Mokuba since he got thunder. Let's, let's go right to him, I guess. Even though we don't got that two-headed King Rex trained up yet, but let's go right to him. Let's go get Mokuba out of the way. Yeah, Mokuba like, yeah, I am Mokuba. All right, let's get Mokuba out of here, man. We got that two-headed King Rex now and that Tariki. <laughs> I'm probably not going to train Tariki, though. I'm, I'm probably going to train two-headed King Rex, make sure he's souped up and good. Oh, whoa, he got a secret base. Like, Kaiba Corp money? What going on here, Mokuba? Got that Kaiba Corp money out here. On, on full display. But when we played before, didn't you suck?
why do why does dialogue like this? <laughs> but anyway, whatever. Anyway, let's just let's just do our thing. Let's take Mokuba out so he can go run into Kaiba. Then Big Brother Kaiba gonna come take us out because he mad at what did you do to Mokuba? Anyway, now we back to going first because I hate going second in this game. Sure, they let me figure out what terrible spot on the field I could be on, but I don't, I'd rather just go first and start getting they monsters out. Put me on a terrible spot on the field. So he got six of these jokers. That ain't bad. So Rex must have been harder then. We probably wasn't supposed to go to Rex. All right. So let's see here. So our left leg died. So that's that's unfortunate. We might train up this right leg. So in this one, we can only put seven in. Okay, so seven is our max. But we got tons of MP, so we getting that Summit Skull right back up in there, man. Where that Summit Skull at? So we're going to try to train some of these guys. Like, King, Coup Headed King Rex is going, man. He going. Uh, man, we training this gear moving fortress, too. Oh, you know, wait, we can't be doing all that. Or can we? Let's see here. So what this Karibo on? This Karibo on, no, what kind of low experience is that Karibo? Okay, this one's on the 47. That's that 47 Karibo. Okay, here's this other right, I mean right, whatever forbidden one. Let's throw that in there. Let's see here. Time Wizard, we ain't done training Time Wizard. So let's keep training Time Wizard. I should get the Kaminari attack back right. Let's see. We're we going to look at him. We're going to look at him. Uh, feral imp, I, I probably shouldn't be getting rid of my feral imp, man. But yeah, this this gear golem moving fortress probably just not gonna get in because like he just costs so much. Like we might work on him later down the line, but he just costs so much right now. So let's keep our feral imp going because he he a veteran too, and and I guess the common common zoo. Yeah, we just gonna keep our strong guys instead of working on new guys all the time. Let's get him and let's go get the uh, the leg, the leg that's on level three. Wait, wait what Karibo at? Karibo ain't he? Oh wait, wait, we need a Karibo back. Um, yeah, we might not work on this arm then. Yeah, we just gonna leave this arm alone. We are gonna get this Karibo going because he's still he's still doing some stuff. So now we got all our monsters are good except that two at King Rex. We gotta like get him ready. Get him ready for the big time. Because if I look, that time wizard, we still working on time wizard. Um, maybe this is not the time to work on time wizard, though, because this guy does have uh, type advantage. So we're not going to work on time wizard right now. We'll get him back when baby dragon is back. So we got time wizard. We got, uh, I mean, we don't got time wizard. We got him still. Okay, what what about the Tariki, yo? Where he at? There you go, that Tariki, yo. But I don't care about Tariki. Skip him. Skip Tariki. Let's go ahead and get the uh, let's get the other Exodia piece, I guess, because there's no point in working on time with it. So let's get the arm. All right, let's go. <laughs> no point in working on time wizard, man. All right, we can put this uh we can put this off to the side to be honest. Oh, so how close it is is the field power bonus. So that's why the field power bonus ain't been doing nothing. Okay, so we, we're done worrying about the field power bonus then. Because at that point, the field power bonus don't mean anything. So let's go ahead and put our, our, our heavy hitters in the front. Let's 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 throw in this two-headed King Rex. He has to prove his worth. So we're going to throw him... Uh, uh, probably not on the edge. We'll throw him right here in the middle. Okay, where I summon Skull at, get him over there. Okay, let's get our fell imp. Our fell imp. All right, let's get the the leg, the leg of Victoria, the leg. Put the leg right, right about here, right behind. Okay, now I know Kaminari attack, we can put him on the edge. Karibo, our man Karibo, gonna be on the other edge. And let's get the uh, the right arm of Exodia. The right arm of Exodia gonna be right next to the leg of Exodia. All right, cool. I don't know why I'm so hyped to be training the, the arms and legs of Exodia, but I just like them, man. I like them legs. Maybe one day they can become Exodia. I don't know how that works, but they might. So training them might do something. Like, 
I have a feeling training them might do something more than what we think, right? Okay, let's awaken him. Oh, that's taking everything. Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, and I guess Kaminari. Yeah, we get the Kaminari attack awaken. Okay, that's about it then. I guess that's, that's cut us off real quick. Okay, that two-headed King Rex was expensive right there. Oh, he got two wind monsters for him too. Look at him. Don't get all scared. This game raw, man. Like, this is, this game is a dream, dream come true, man. Now, it sucked that all you can really do is keep fighting these guys, but this still fun, though. I'm having a blast, man. Here I go. Like, we finishing this tournament, man. We finishing this series. I love this game. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and uh get that summon skull ready. Get them ready. Get that summon skull on, on the board. Get them on the board. Now what you are? Oh, <laughs> you feral imp. I forget. <laughs> what 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 you? Oh, okay, good. Get him on the board. Two headed King Rex coming for you. Move him. Got him on the board. Got him on the board. Gotta go. Gotta go. All right, cool. So I should just summoned everybody to be honest, because like, it looks like not too many people are gonna be moving anyway. So I could have just summoned them, but that jewel bird coming for me. I better move over there with that. Oh, wow. You got two wind monsters coming for me? Oh, okay. I ain't going, man. I ain't going. I ain't falling for that. But they so far away. Whatever. Anyway, let's start getting these other guys hatched. Karibo. Get them hatched. And we're going to hatch everybody and start moving some people. But I need everybody hatched and ready. Need them ready. <laughs> like I need them ready, man. They got to go. All right. Get that summon skull on the board. Put him on the board. All right, where can you move? Oh, okay. Move here. Get over there. Man, he costs a lot to move. So I'm going to start sending formations. I'm going to send two guys over here and two guys over there. And I'm going I'm to flank them. Because they seem like I can do that on this stage. Somewhat. I don't know where they're going with these guys. But yeah, I'm going to move them guys over there and them guys over there. What's happening here? Uh oh. What was that? What's happening? Oh, they about to turn on some generators. I know what's about to happen. They about to start cooking my monsters. Alright, anyway. Move you right here. Get that leg over there to back you up. You know that leg taking a while to get over there. But it can't even move. Yeah, like some generators coming, man. Like they gonna get us. Come on, Summit Skull, move. Get on down. That's all we can do. That arm is so back in the far. <laughs> that arm is like, I want to move too. And I'm like, arm, I can't move you. I don't know where you're going to go. He attacking Summit Skull? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My goodness. See, look. Look at this. Mokuba about to get us. <laughs> that, that's the worst part about this, man. I don't want to lose my Summit Skull. I like him. I'm going to have to start using that moving fortress if y'all get my summon skull. Uh-oh. What the crap? What y'all doing in this stage, man? Y'all petty in this stage, man. Look at... What the... <laughs> hey, y'all petty in this stage. Y'all wrong for this. Y'all cheating. Y'all cheating. They cheating in this one. They just cheating, man. All right, anyway, uh, you come on up in here somehow. Like, I'm about to get bullied up in here, man. I, I'm not doing this right. I can tell.
Let's see. Can we even beat this guy? Oh, we can destroy him on sight. Get this guy then. Destroy him on sight. Skip him. Out of here. 150. Get him out of here. That two-headed King Rex right there. All right, so we're going to move you, I guess, here. Yeah, get right behind him. All right, so Karibo, come up into the fold. Get right up over there. Yeah. Uh, this guy looks like he moved already. Okay. So who else do we got? I guess we got the arm. Let's move the arm. Arm is going to, oh, man, that arm better fall back. No, where the arm going to go? Guess the arm gonna try to go over here. Like the arm need to try to help somebody, but that arm can't can't even really do nothing, man. This arm is doomed. He doomed. Should have never bought the arm. I'm Are you losing? I guess he is. I guess we got one of his monsters. So I guess he loses. And they doing a lot of damage too, man. My goodness. At least he can't attack us right now. Yeah, that two headed King Rex gonna get him though. I can tell. Now, that two headed King Rex got something for him. He seems like he got a lot of pieces though. Like, I don't know exactly how many pieces he actually really had, but it seems like he got a lot. Okay, let's wait on you for now. Man, we ain't got the right nothing. All right, let's go ahead and move you down the lane somewhere. Yeah, just get right there. Okay, let's start moving and getting these guys. Come on, Karibo. All right, we got Saucy Karibo right here. Oh, we can't even beat that guy in one shot. Okay. So let's think about how we're going to move that. Because we're going to take out the draw bird, I guess. Uh, let's see here. This leg can cannot really do nothing that we want it to do. Okay, so the leg won't be helpful for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, we need you to take this thing out somehow. Wow. I guess you can't really do anything either here. Okay, so we're going to move you back like this. I guess. Since she can't really do anything here. Okay, no, no, we ain't in our turn. Okay, we're gonna move Karibo here so Karibo can at least attack, I guess. Attack Karibo. Okay, so Karibo did some damage to him. It can't really do much here. Okay, I'm gonna throw the leg right here just so the leg can, like, tank. And him, we're going to put him here. Okay, so he can't move now. Whoops. All right, and we're going to keep moving this leg so he can finally get in the game out here. All right, that's about it. We can't move nothing else. Our summon skull should have never been next to the two-head King Rex. They just can't move. <laughs> like, we're getting flanked. How much that's gonna deal? How much health does he have? Okay, we can we can deal with that. Better him than the other guy. Uh oh, this Karibo about to get molly whopped. Karibo about to suffer. Aw oh, man, Karibo getting pieced out. He piecing Karibo up. Look at this. Karibo gone. <laughs> he took out Karibo, man. Karibo gone. <laughs> Karibo ain't got the stats, man. Karibo ain't gonna do nothing out here, man. Karibo gone. That leg ain't been able to do nothing for us, man. This leg is bad. <laughs> this leg is horrible. All right, anyway, let's 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 see what we can do out here now. Let's see. Let's get. Okay, if I can move him here, he can get that guy. Okay. Okay, so he can get that guy if I can move him there. So let's get you. Uh, what? Who can you get? Okay, so he can also get that guy if he get 
over here. Okay, I might as well just let you do it, but um, let me see here. What can you do? You can't do nothing, man. <laughs> man, you can't do nothing, huh? All right, well. Oh, wait, we got this two headed King Rex, too, though. Let's see here. If I know you can probably get here and probably take out this guy, let me see. No, you can't take him out. Okay, so what can you do? Man? I know if I can bring this two headed King Rex on board, like just get him up in the fray. Because he move a lot. But he can't really do nothing once he get over there. Okay, so two headed King Rex is going to take him out. Like, just take this guy out, Two-Headed King Rex. See? He got him. All right, so Two-Headed King Rex is decent. He taking some suckers out. Now, he going to be a mainstay, I see. All right, so let's go ahead and see what you can do. Okay, well, let's leave you alone because you just suck right now. Uh, let's, let's see. I guess you could take him out, and that would be better than Feral M taking it out. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is... Oh, wait, if I can take him out and then move. Yeah. So if I can move this guy here and then take that other guy out, then he'll be able to, like, for example, if I get there, I don't know, getting there ain't going to do nothing. But, yeah, I can move this here. Okay, I'll do that. Move him here. And move you here where you can take out that guy. Take it out. And I want you to try to get to level, uh, you know, I want this to get to level 3 before he gets to level 4. I guess that would be helpful for him. Was level 9 the max? Can't remember what the max was. No, you need to be humiliated. Okay, so now you can actually get here and start putting the smack down on that guy. There you go. There we go. Now we're doing something out here. That leg is out here for vengeance, man. That leg wants, some, wants you to pay. That's the leg of Exodia. Okay, cool. So yeah, now we're doing something out here. And we're going to start moving this thing up. So it can just get closer to our guys. Just just at this point, might as well. We're going for a rush. A rush. A full frontal assault. Okay, that leg going to survive. That leg is tough. That's a trooper out there. That leg got... Uh oh That leg going down. Oh, <laughs> The leg is going down. Okay. Oh, no, the leg. Okay, the leg is alive. That's a powerful leg, man. He'll hold on to the very end with a 12. <laughs> that leg is going down, man. All right. Leg need to retreat. Uh-oh, what's happening now? What y'all going to do to my two-headed King Rex now? Who y'all hurting now? Okay, I guess they didn't do nothing this time. Okay, man, I hate this level. This Mocha level sucks, man. Getting a fight with Mokuba and it's horrible, man. Who who did this? Like, who told y'all to make Mokuba's level horrible? Like, what are we doing out here? We can't have Mokuba's level be right. Okay, so if I get right here, I can start attacking that guy. Okay, so we'll figure out how to do that. Um, and I think this guy can attack from right here from where he's standing. Okay, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to move this piece back so we can start attacking this guy and leg will defeat him take him out leg it's the leg of exodia okay the leg took him out uh i'll move that later so right now let's get the feral imp out here yeah we put the feral imp right here the feral imp. And let's let's start getting this guy. Actually, I wonder if the Kaminari attack can one-shot him, though. Because if the electricity is better, let's see if that can work. Uh, he might just be able to kill him, though. Let's see. Oh, he can't. Okay, so the electricity don't matter in this game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on here. All right, so feral imp going to move right here. Get him started. I like how uh, Feral Imp can attack from a, a leap, kind of like, he kind of like a knight from a uh, chess, which is kind of funny to me. I'll get you back. Now you ain't gonna get Feral Imp back. All right, Feral Imp took you out, took you out to lunch. All right, let's go ahead and put you right here. 
right there. Go ahead. Take that sucker out. Okay, Mokuba's stuff is starting to get worn, ran out. So he he's starting to get his butt kicked now. Good. Tired of this sucker, man. He's starting to get defeated now. Okay, so what else he got? Uh, he ain't got nothing else but that scorpion thing right there. So once that scorpion thing is gone, he gone. Like Mokuba stuff is coming to an end right here. Okay, I can't move him. Just can't. Okay, we coming to get you. Coming to get you, Mocha, but you ain't got nothing but that scorpion. Now, hopefully that scorpion don't kill the Exodia piece. Okay, good. So, let's see what's happening now. Hopefully the Exodia piece ain't on those. Then the Exodia piece just dead. That'd be terrible. Okay. So far, I guess it's not. Okay. Okay, cool. So, let's get that scorpion, man. He can't hide from us. That scorpion trying to run. That sucker trying to run. Like he's show sure enough is trying to leave. And we gonna get you. We'll get you with the leg. Okay, okay, well the leg almost wanted to, but he can't. That leg gonna borrow time. Okay, but this guy's trying, but he just can't get down there. All right, get right there at least. Move somewhere. Okay, he'll, he's trying. Pharaoh him trying too, but Actually, was I supposed to put Pharaoh in right there? Oh, well. Uh, Two-headed King Rex might be able to get him. No, not yet. He coming for him, though. Two-headed King Rex is coming. Like, we moving the pieces out here, man. We doing something out here. Okay, it ain't worth even moving you, I guess. Nah, move him. Even though I don't even know where and what I'm trying to do with that. but Alright. Hopefully he don't figure out how to get that leg. That would be terrible. The leg just get sniped. Okay, good. Perfect. Like, I know he ain't going to be gone. He might do a one for one. He might get him now. He might be the one. Now, I'm going to let uh, the two at the King Rex do it. Cause I want two at the King Rex to get these level ups. And I think, I think we're going to level up the two at the King Rex after this. Like, hey, if this guy could get it, but he can't. Like, he definitely couldn't. And let me see if this leg can even do anything out here. Oh, the leg actually can get you. Yeah, this Exodia leg can get his revenge. But we're going to give it a two-headed King Rex, though. Because I want two-headed King Rex out here doing his thing. And that sound, that sound like he destroyed, too. So let's go ahead and get him with two-headed King Rex. And get him up out of my sight. Since you got rid of Karibo, I didn't forget what you did to Karibo. Out of here. Two-headed King Rex. This just isn't my day. Nothing went my way. <laughs> Man, this just isn't my day. Nothing went my way? Wow. That's crazy. No way. You were just lucky. I've defeated you many times. I doubt it was just luck. Be quiet. You might have beaten me. But there's no way you'll stand a chance against Seth. No. I'm going to beat Kaiba. Mokuba's older brother. Kaiba about to catch all types of... <laughs> Man, we going to get Kaiba. Kaiba going to be gone. Going to hit him with all the monsters in our arsenal. Kaiba going to get beat. Going to get molly -whopped, man. Especially now that we leveling up this two-headed King Rex, man. When the time we get to Kaiba, he going down. Ah, yeah, they didn't level up. Oh, Pharaoh up and made it too. Oh, that sucker on level four now. He on level three. And Q-Headed King Rex is on level two. Man, that two-headed King Rex was raw. Okay, this thing's so great right here. I guess I can get this thing. Like the Wicked Dragon with uh, Earth's ahead. 
can get that. And we can get uh, the shovel thing. Yeah, let's get the shovel crusher now. All right, we get the shovel crusher and the wicked whatever it's called. Uh, save Gabe Nader. Yeah, yeah, save it. Save it. But yeah, we're doing our thing out here. This is this is cool. I hated that level, but we, we beat them, though. We sure did beat them. I'm not worried about beating them. I'm worried about losing uh, monsters and they don't level up, <laughs> which is, I guess that's where the challenge of this game comes in. Can you beat them with keeping all your pieces? Not can you beat them. Of course you can beat them. But can you beat them with retaining all your gas so your gas can level up and become unstoppable? Like, and the field power bonus thing, that, that mechanic was not thought out very well. But whatever. Anyway, here's, we can fight Mai. Uh, who else we got? Mako. I'm, I'm leaning towards fighting Mako because, um, uh, my, uh, wait, we ain't got no wood monster, so I guess that don't make a lot of sense. We, we probably will want to deal with Weevil. Let's go get Weevil. Let's go get Weevil. Take Weevil Underwood out. We got Weevil standing. Weevil like this. <laughs> Come on, Weevil. What we doing out here? Weevil, Weevil standing like this? Come on now. Weevil. Weevil Underwood. What are we doing? We can't be standing loud and proud like this. Anyway. Oh, the ancient forest. Wow. Look at that beautiful ancient forest, man. That ancient forest. The forest of death. I know that. Look at this forest, man. This look cool. This is, man, this that game. I told y'all, this, man, this Capsule Monsters is that game, man. It's fantastic. Uh oh. <laughs> Yuki. Yuki. If you want to get your grubby little hands on the tournament title, you'll have to go through me. Then that's what I'll do, Weevil. I'll take you on any time, any place. That's funny, then that's what I'll do. How about right now? Right here. That's fine with me. It's time to do. I like this game, man. I love this. This is this is raw. This is raw. Man. Ah, oh, I got the four. All right, let's run them down with my monsters. I know I got to finish, uh, what's it called? Um, False Bound Kingdom 2. Because I wanted to, I just didn't. <laughs> like, I, I just really didn't. But, um... I'm going to make my way to all of these at some point. Because they don't look like we're going to get them in the uh, early days collection. So I'm just going to have to finish them. Oh, man, look at them capsules. They just floating pretty, man. They in the ocean. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so he got wood. So if we want to, we could use some break some fire guys out. But I don't know about that. Okay, so that, that Karibo level 2 is gone. Let's see. He'll be our Karibo, though. There's no point in trying to get the Karibos. We got to get some variety out here. So we got the leg. The leg is the leg is straight. Leg is at three, and that leg gonna keep being straight. <laughs> get that leg back on the team. So we wait. We can only get six people this time. Okay. So wait. We might as well get our high level guys then. If we can only get six, let's let's look at our high level monsters. Let's see what we got there. So as far as high level monsters, we don't want wind because I think I think that this beats wind, right? Like that's how that went, right? Something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get our, our feral imp. Going to continue. Continue to fray. We might break out the shovel crusher. Okay, summon skull and two of the king rex. They powerful, but actually two of the king rex might not be good for this. Let's see here. He might have to sit out too, man. Because we just ain't got the space for all these monsters right now. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll go with the Summon Skull, because I like the Summon Skull. We'll train the Summon Skull a little bit more. Uh, so we got him and Feral Imp. And... Man, we ain't got many points out here. Oh, man, the Time Wizard can't do it. Here's our leg. Our leg of Exodia. Even though our leg of Exodia getting weak, we got to train some good monsters, man. Uh, let's get the Baby Dragon out. Where he at? He should have recovered. There he is. Get the baby dragon all out. 
Okay, where's this time wizard? Because that time wizard was good from what I saw from him. Let's get that time wizard ready. There you go. Okay, we need two more guys. Uh, we might put our Lega Pixodi out there, actually. He might have to be here. Now, what was this guy at? He's at 40 experience, the leg. And what was this one at? 35, the arm. Okay, the arm respectively. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. So we can put the needle ball up in there. Like, needle ball was good. We might put a fire reaper up in there, though, because he might have to get ready. But if we're going to train a fire monster, I'd rather not be him. Let's get Kaminari attack up in there. Cause he he's he's evolving out here. He's getting good. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Alright, let's go ahead and get the happy lover. Does the happy lover deserve another chance? It might. It might deserve another chance out here, because it was very tanky. We might throw the happy lover a bone out here. But now nah, I'm waiting for better for better um light monsters though. I'm tired of looking at that happy lover. Like that happy lover look. Happy stupid. Let's get it out of here. Oh, I need to replace my uh thank you. All right, cool. I'm back on. All right, let's see. Uh, man, we might get the leg ready. But I think I better train up another leg. Uh, let me train up the left leg. Yeah, we're going to train up the left legs. That way he can get ready. Because I want my legs trained up, but... Nah, we're going we're gonna to keep the this one. We're going to keep this one. We'll start training them up when they start getting weak. But we ain't going to train them up for now. We only got six units. We got to make this count. Okay, so we're going to put our guy... All right, wait, wait, where, where is he at? Okay, so he's right over there. Okay, so we're going to put our field power guy like back here in the cut all right so now we're gonna manually place these guys because i'm never letting them randomly place them ever again all right so i want my summon skull out here i want my summon skull here all right where's my uh, fail imp my fail imp my fail imp right here okay my kama mazu right there my baby dragon Ah, okay. I put Baby Dragon right here. My time wizard. Right there. And my left leg of Exodia. Right here. All right. We got our guys on the board. And hopefully we can beat Weevil Underwood. Because Weevil got him six monsters too, right? Or did he have five? Can't remember. What do he have? It's time to start. Time to start. All right, so let me see how many he had. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, he got five. Two woods, a thunder, a water. Yeah, this, they stuff don't make no sense in this game. Anyway, uh, let's start awakening some guys. Uh, let's awaken the weaker ones first, I guess. That might make more sense. Nah, I don't. Uh, let's get the summon skull. Let's get them going. And let's get that feral imp going. And we'll awaken them next time. <laughs> like, we're going to do it that way. Get them heavy hitters going. Weaker guys going to have to come in there later. I'll let you feast your eyes on my lovely insect. <laughs> Man, why he say? I was like, who, who did the voice for Weevil? Like, I want to get that guy an Academy Award because that guy was always funny to me. Like, he did such a funny job being Weevil that it he is underrated, underappreciated. He sound like a grimy kid, and it's great. All right, anyway, uh, there go that summon skull. Uh, let's move you up. Right there. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and get you summoned. I want you summoned. There you go. And we're going to move the summon skull up. So really only he got summoned and we moved to summon skull up and that's it. We all added points. So I guess this game still want me to use the weaker monsters. Like, because I'm trying to get some strong guys out here, but they tell me I ain't got enough AP. So I might have to, I'm going to boost AP next time. Because it doesn't seem like I need um, PP or the whatever points anymore. I'm just going to keep boosting AP next time. 
So next time my simple level up, we just boost the AP. Because it seems like that'll be our best bet. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, place that there. Get that summon skull on over. Move him. Like here, I guess. And let's awaken. Uh, I guess I can't awaken that. Let's get this leg up on the board. Uh, I guess this time wizard would be fine too. Let's get the time wizard. That's it. But yeah, we're going to do AP next time because uh, I'm going to need to summon these guys <laughs> and get them out on the board because if I can't. I'm going to need to attack too, but I don't think you attack that much in this game. Like, not being able to attack isn't as bad as not being able to move or get them out on the field. So they go Nido whatever, Nido Jizo. They go um, the, the knight, or as I call him, grandpa, but, you know, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see what you can do, Summon Skull. Can you, can you get that guy? Oh, you can't get him. Uh, Summon Skull, why? All right, so Summon Skull, stay right there then. Let's see, can you? Nah, you can't really do it either. So we're going to move you right here, though. We will move you a little bit. Uh, you might be able to attack one of these guys if you're in the right zone, right? No. I guess if I put him here, it can attack. But then it might get beat by both of those guys. So we might... We might fall back a little bit because I don't want them getting too beat. Alright, so we're going to awaken these guys and get these guys ready. And we might move that time wizard in the field if we can. Because I don't want to move all my guys up first. I want to run up on him first and then deal some damage before our guys might get pieced out here. Alright. That way he has to at least come to us. I think that's better. But maybe the AP isn't that useful because like uh, later on it's not that big of a deal. But I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> like I'm just going to chalk it up to I just don't know with this game. Like, everything is useful and everything's not useful. So, I don't really know what's worse or better than the other in this game. I, I can tell you one thing, though. The, the field power bonus doesn't seem too much better. So, I guess anything but that. And the MP at the beginning doesn't really matter too much. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. But I'll figure it out at some point. Or somebody could tell me. Like, you can look at the videos and you can tell me what's going on here. Because, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, and I'm not joking. I, I really don't really know. <laughs> like, I played this game as a kid, but I rented it as a kid. And I never really knew. I remember it being fun. I just didn't know what that meant or any of that. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's move the Summit Skull up in the front. That summon skull already. So I guess I can move him here. And then he can start attacking that guy. Or I can move him here. Hey. Okay, if summon skull is right there. And I can move this guy. No, that's not a good spot. Oh, okay, this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, I'm probably going to move him right here and start attacking these guys. Or he can go here. He'll be safe there, but... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Get this guy. Get that petite moth. Get him started. Cool. Okay, so he's been started. Started off. Oh, so he just can't do nothing now. Oh, okay. Well, I thought time was it could do something, but I guess not. All right, so while he's out there, let me see here. Okay, so I guess I can have Feral Imp finish him. That'll be nice, at least. Yeah, we'll have Feral Imp finish him. Yeah. Okay, so the, at least one's down. We got one out of here. Okay, so we got minus some attack for some reason. Let's, yeah, let's put him here. Let's get him started. 
So how much does health does this guy got? This guy got a lot of health. He's pretty tanky too. But another attack, that's a funny face. Another attack from Summon Skull should render him useless though. So now let's put in a uh, <laughs> Sacrifice Time Wizard, right? So let's throw in Baby Dragon so he can go somewhere. I don't know where he going to really go, but let's move him there. Get the leg. Get the leg out here. That's my leg right there. My leg. And right, you, Time Wizard, I don't know what really you're going to do, but hopefully you don't get jumped by two guys, though. Wouldn't like that, but throw him right there. I think he'll be fine. I don't I don't see any of them like going down consecutively, so we should be good. Stop being such a pest. Okay, so he got one guy down. So he almost out. <laughs> He's almost out. Okay, that time wizard show sure enough is getting attacked right here. Survive it, time wizard, tough it out. That's a good time wizard right there. That was a lot of damage, but it survived. Good. That's Time Wizard right there from the anime. Okay, here come this guy. Root Water coming to get you. Okay, Survival. Oh, he looking chipped. Ooh. Okay, hopefully this guy ain't going to get beat real quick. It looks like he might. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, well. Well. <laughs> it happens. He gone. <laughs> he gone. I'm going to train him some other time. He is gone like the wind. All right, anyway, he's out. So let's see what we're going to do now. Okay, we, we're just going to start rushing you now, man. Since you're taking out units, I guess I just got to take you out now. Since you out here on dirt. Oh, we can't beat you with that. Okay, well, that ain't going to work. All right, let's see here. Okay, so the leg is always never moving correctly. Okay, so the leg going to have to wait, too. <laughs> All right, move you up, Pharaoh Imp. Okay, so right here, Pharaoh M can get this guy. Or I don't care about root water. I think root water kind of sucks. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy. With the Pharaoh M's attack. Get him started. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Don't you try to cry now. You're going down. Okay, let's see. Okay, so he attacks like that, huh? Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put you right here. Now, I think you should be able to destroy him, right? Oh, you can't destroy him? Whoa, you can't destroy him? Okay, well, can you destroy him, Time Wizard? Like, this guy's going to take a team effort? Wow, this guy got a lot of tank to him, I guess. That's annoying. Okay, so what we're probably going to do then is uh, I'm going to move him here. And I'm going to move him here. And we're going to start you off. And we're going to put you up right Next to the Joker. I mean, not next to him, but right there. Yeah, start him off. Get him. Finish him off. Not start him off. Finish him off. Yeah, I should have got Time Wizard to get the level up, though. Messed up. Oh, well. Time Wizard about that anyway. <laughs> like, hopefully it don't, but it, it might. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the leg out there for just, just, to, just to get in the way of some damage, man. Throw him out there. And I guess throw that out there. I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm just moving now. Okay, well, Time Wizard, we just sacrificed Time Wizard. So Time Wizard is not going to be Rookie of the Year today. Like, it is a high likelihood that Time Wizard about to get smoked. So after that, then we got to deal with Root Water and his other thing. And then he should be done. Like, right now, he attacking Feral M. It ain't going to kill Feral M. Feral M pretty good on this. Look at him. See, Pharaoh Imp need to get hit by that guy two more times before he can deal him in. Okay, the leg about to be attacked. Getting leg, getting attacked. But the leg got so much defense, man. Leg don't care. Yep, oh, there you go. Destroyed. Man, he came right for him, too. 
I'm sorry, Time Wizard. It was bogus. Okay, so we lost that Time Wizard. He he went down. Like, Time Magic, he went down. All right, but anyway, let's get this guy now. Oh, yeah, I forgot he got that other thing over there, too. I'm tired of him, man. Just tired of this guy. Okay, so we'll probably let you end up doing that. Let's see. Can you move and get... No, you can't do nothing, man. What about you? Can you move all the way over there? And no, you can't... Wow, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move you. Actually, we don't have to move you, I guess. Yeah, we'll move you here anyway. We'll move you here. And then we'll attack this guy. So, at least this guy going to have to move. I don't know. Get him started. I bet it is starting to bug you. Yeah. I know later on they get abilities too, which is kind of cool. So we're going to level up Baby Dragon actually right here. So Baby Dragon can get something. Like he needs something out here. Alright, that, that guy be destroyed. Cool. Cool. He is gone. He is gone. All right, so he's out. Uh, this just won't reach for some reason. But stay right there. And, yeah, start attacking this guy. Because this guy is just right in your face. Like it, ain't, like it ain't nothing for some reason. Like it ain't no big deal. He just right here. Attack him. I mean, we can go, we can go blow for blow, one on one. Got him. Well, almost got him. Okay, next turn he should be able to be getting got, cause I'm tired of seeing Weevil now. Weevil, Weevil always gonna be annoying, and no matter what incarnation you fight him, he's gonna he's gonna get on your nerves. Like there is no way you can get past Weevil without some type of friction. I do want that larva moth from him though. That larva moth might be able to turn into like the great, the great white moth or whatever you want to call it. Okay, as long as he don't die, I think I'm fine here. Yeah. Oh yeah, summon skull out here tanking. All right, what's happening now? The moon, attack the moon. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? He gonna get another monster? Whatever, he about to get beat. It ain't gonna work, Weevil. Changing the tides ain't gonna do nothing for you. It's raining, Weevil. Whatever, Weevil. Whatever. Okay, so it's it's raining now for Weevil. Okay, so we're gonna level up this baby dragon. Like he needs to he deserves to level up. Alright, can you finish him, baby dragon? Yes, we can. That's what I want to see, Baby Dragon. Take him out. Okay, so at least Baby Dragon getting there. He's getting he's getting better. Uh, we'll put you here. Even though that doesn't really matter. Um, we'll put you here. And we'll have you do your... Well, actually, wait, wait. Should we just do his ability then? Yeah, just have him do his ability. Yeah, do it. Sure. I don't know if doing the special abilities increases experience or not. I don't think it does, but just like doing it. All right, you, you just attack that thing and then finish him. All right, the leg is going to bring us our victory. That leg going to be on level four soon. That leg is doing it good. <laughs> Got the leg of Exodia out here just leveling up. I want to level up all the pieces, but I need more slots before I can level up them pieces, man. I guess I could grind the old battles and then level up those legs, but I don't know. That's too easy. Like we going through the campaign. We ain't grinding. We not gonna cheat. We gonna go through the campaign with the leg of Exodia and do what we can. And our Karibo should be back alive now. That's good. Time Wizard gone. I, it's a shame, too, because I like how Time Wizard was moving. Okay, Baby Dragon got the level up. Good. Right leg almost did. 
And I think I symbol of it up too. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to increase the AP. Uh, I wish I could take this off, but whatever, it's on there. Now we're going to increase the AP. Um, okay, the AP again. <laughs> and the AP again. I don't know. what. How much does this increase? Eh, we might need PP. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll go with that. Okay, no more effects, ref. No more. <laughs> no more. We're just gonna use whatever cards we're gonna use. No effect strength. We don't care. All right. So we're gonna get we're gonna get the larva moth from him, I guess. Like I like larva moth. Um, and that's his signature. So um, I guess we can get root water from him. But I think we can buy root waters. Like I guess either this guy or this guy. And I'm tired of getting the shovel crusher. Or is it the PT moths that we gotta buy? Don't remember. But um, here's Shovel Crusher. Get another one of Shovel Crushers. But these Shovel Crushers ain't good for nothing, man. This guy got like so much HP that he's just decent. Like, like Shovel Crusher, really? Like, what, what do we need with him? Like, he's okay, but he's not doing anything, man. And whatever, I'll get a Shovel Crusher. Because I don't see a need for a Petite Moth either. I, I ain't getting that Shovel Crusher, whatever. Like, everybody got Shovel Crusher now? <laughs> like, what y'all doing? Y'all all got Shovel Crusher. So y'all going to the same shop as me, and y'all getting y'all self a Shovel Crusher. Y'all funny with this. Shovel Crusher is the one we want. All right, so let's go. I might head to the shop and start seeing if they got any new things in there. I don't think they do, but I need to rearrange some things anyway. Because, like, it's getting more apparent that there are a lot of monsters and duplicates I'm just not going to use. Like, at this rate, I don't see the point in me using duplicates. Like, I'm just going to train the one of the guys that I got. So let's head back real quick. Let's get some stuff ready. Let's get some stuff in order. Let's customize. Let's customize traumatize. Let's go. All right, let's go to that shop first. Let's go to that shop. Now, I know there could be a case to be made to say I should just save my money until I get to the next tier and unlock the new things. Hmm. I wonder if you're ready to use this monster. Is it a new monster? Oh, he Correct. is. He'd get a new car. But Yogi, do you think you can use this monster to its full potential? Of course. If I can't master every monster, then I don't deserve to be a champion. Man, you got Dark Magician in there? What you got in there? <laughs> That's the spirit, Yuki. Give me that dark magician. I'll exchange it for your monster points. You're not going to give it to me for free? I'm not running a charity here, not even for you. <laughs> he a bad grandpa, man. If you want it, then you must earn it. He a funny grandpa. Like to do? He not running a charity, not even for you. All right, where the monster at, man? Where that? Show me. I don't see nothing but mechanical snail. I don't see no monster. Show me, man. Telling me I got to earn this monster. Where is it? Is it in here? Oh, well, we got this in here. I might get that. Maybe that's the one he talking about. Crow, whatever. We got Sonic Maid up in here, too. What the heck is she doing being wood? So, I don't know what new thing he got, but... <laughs> like, like, I don't see nothing, man. I don't know what he talking about. Like, is it this? The Spike Snail? Okay, so I don't know why Sonic made its wood, but we're going to get her so we can have a good wood monster. Uh, here's this Needle Worm. We might get the Needle Worm just to say we have it. Um, now, this thing looks powerful, I guess. Like, uh, I guess we could get this. Mm, it's a dinosaur, but I don't care about these dinosaurs. And I guess the Great White is a good monster, too. So I guess I could buy that, too. Just to have it. Yeah, and that's what I meant. Root Water was in the thing. Uh, here's Penguin Soldier. Let's just buy him. Like, I don't know why I shouldn't buy anything, to be honest, at this rate. Like, I just get what I should just get, right? Here's Flame Manipulator. We can get him, too. Like, at this point, I'm just going to get, you know, an arsenal put together. And I guess he's okay, but I need some better light monsters than Guinea. 
and Prisman. Like, come on here. Why y'all just giving me Prisman and Guinea? Like, what we doing out here? Prisman and Guinea? Goodness. What we doing out here? All right, anyway, that's that's what we going to get. What would you like to do? I don't know what I would want to do, but uh, let me go to the manage the monsters because what I'm going to start doing is taking out those duplicates because I'm seeing no point to have duplicates right about now unless I just really like a certain monster. So here I can get the details. So like this Karibo is the cream of the crop Karibo, the cream to the cream. So these needle balls. We don't need this needle ball, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this needle ball. He cut. Uh, here's Karibo. Uh, I'm cut him. He's cut. Okay, we got Skella gone. Okay, so our um, this guy died, so he just won't be used, and we're not gonna keep using a bunch of these guys over no more. Now that we got our bearings and we got at least one of everybody, we're gonna use about one of everybody. Cause there's no point in us trying to max out on a bunch of cards that ain't gonna do it. So let's get you up out of there. Like these guys weak anyway. Okay, so here's a petite moth. I think he's our first petite moth, right? Okay, he might be. Okay, get him out of here. Is this the second Pharaoh out? Get him out of here. Okay, you a one of a kind. Out of here. What, is this a bad Karibo? Out of here. Wait, oh, no, not switch. Out. Okay, what? Nah, get out of here. Okay, here's another shovel guy. Oh, wait, this shovel guy on a higher level. Okay, get this guy out of here. You are, you look very useless. But you are different, so you stay. Yeah, these guys are unique. Uh, okay, this shovel crusher is no. No moss on that shovel crusher. No. Okay, this is the good shovel crusher. Okay. So I'm going to get this two-headed King Rex into the front. Because I just want him in the front. Where is he? Okay, there we go. Here he go. Uh, let's go ahead and throw you in. What else we bought? We bought this. Okay, let's go ahead and fill out the roster. Okay. Okay, we don't need duplicates. And we see you right here, Skeleton. Oh, throw him in. And I think that's about it. Oh, oh yeah, these guys, the water guys. Don't forget about the water guys. Okay, I guess that's about it. Okay. So we're, we're making sure we're getting at least one of most of these cards, which is pretty good. At least for what we're trying to do. Cool. Okay. All right, let's get on out of here. And let's go deal with... Uh, I think we're going to deal with my Valentine next. And we might use some of these wood monsters against her, but I don't know if it's that necessary. Just so we can get them, I feel better about at least getting some monsters to like level two. Cause it seems like as soon as they get to like level two, they're like good at that point. So just getting them to level two is actually very helpful. Cause there she is. And then we got Mako, we'll deal with Mako last. So let's go work on math first and then we'll get Mako next. Now I think she has wind. So what's gonna beat wind? Is it earth? <laughs> I don't know. Man, what beats wind again on this? Was it wood? And then the fire beats wood. And then the water beats fire. And then thunder don't beat the water. What beat the water again? Man, I don't know what beat what in this game. So you finally came, Yugi. Like, I don't know. Just to let you know. Perfume on your pieces to help you, like you did at Duelist Kingdom. Very. 
very funny, Yugi, but you should know by now that I don't need to use tricky tactics to win. I've been studying this new game just so that I can defeat you. Let's do it, Yugi. Well, well, this Maya is also wearing the uh, Waking the Dragons outfit, so she not going to cheat. <laughs> so, so I don't know what we're doing out here. Okay, good. I'm going first. Perfect. Perfect. Just what I need. Okay. We're looking pretty. We're doing good. Okay, so what we're going to do is... uh. Okay, let's just get our best guys like we've been doing. But uh, every now and again, we'll train somebody onto the board. Uh, so we got eight people, so we can actually train people now. Good. Uh, let's get our main guys, our summon skull, like our summon skull. Ooh, our two-headed king Rex. Yeah. Oh, man, look at all our points drop. <laughs> let's see. Uh, oh, man, we might. Should we start training this thing right now? Mm. It probably don't make a whole lot of sense right now. It's a strong looking monster, but it probably don't make no sense right now. The Crow Goblin, man. Crow Goblin look epic. Like, let's let Summon Skull sit out because he's been doing his thing, but he has leveled up effectively. Let's, let's throw in the Crow Goblin and the Gear Moving Fortress. Let's see how they do. They take a lot of points. That's what they do. All right. Let's see. Uh, like, they do need to be leveled up. Okay. Baby Dragon, come on in. Let's see. The Sonic May. Yeah, I guess. Don't know. Let's get the Sonic May ready. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Where's Larva Moth? There he is. Let's get my larva moth up in there. Uh, give me, give me liberty. <laughs> give me that Karibo. We're gonna keep my Karibo on deck. Uh, let's see. Was it the pit teeth moth that is actually good in this game though? Like somebody was good. I don't know if it was larva moth or petite moth. Like it might be actually petite moth, which is the funny part. But I don't know. Uh, here's the leg of Exodia. We can get those guys going again. Well, we definitely don't want to put no Earth Monsters in here. Not not today. Not today. No Earth Monsters here. No way. Let's see. Can we get any Lightning Monsters? Can we get one of those spider things? Like, do we got one of those guys? The Scorpions or whatever. And yeah, we might use Steel Scorpion this time. Let's get them in there. I just like having the Electric Monsters. Um... Uh, but I guess we don't need them this time. Uh, let's. We should get a fire guy trained up. But I just see Flame Manipulator up there. He's so expensive, man. Uh, he's probably going to be good, but he's expensive. So he ain't going to make the cut today. I don't want to get this guy up in there. Oh, let's see. I like Penguin Soldier. I might throw Penguin Soldier in there just because I like him. But let's get these legs ready. Let's get the left and the right leg. I'm gonna, I want to get them ready. So let's we'll rock with these. <laughs> like I want those legs to be good. All right. So I'm putting my symbol like really just off to the side here because I don't. Now that I think about it, I do not care about these symbols in this game, man. Symbol off to the side. Like I am not going based on this symbol no more. All right, so we're probably going to put the legs in the front, I guess. Just get so they can actually move. So we're going to put this leg. Okay, where, where is Maya anyway? Okay, so she's over there. Okay. So we're going to put this leg right here. And we're going to put this arm here. Okay, we got Larva Moth. Let's see, where are we going to put Larva Moth? Back here. We'll put him over here. Larva Moth over here. 
Uh, here's Sonic Maid. Uh, oh, she has an interesting way of moving. Okay, that's that's cool. Put her back here. She's going to back them up over there. Um, Baby Dragon, I want you... I want you right in the middle, Baby Dragon. Go for it. Okay, the Gear Moving Fortress. You're going to go over here. Yeah, right here would be good. And the Crow Goblin. Oh, you move interesting too. Okay, Crow Goblin right, right, yeah, right here. Right here, Crow Goblin. Oh, and Karibo. I forgot about Karibo. Okay, well, should have put Karibo up in the front. Oh, well, Karibo just going to have to take a while to move up there. But he'll get there. All right, we'll put Karibo right here. Cool. I think this team looks decent. Like, I think, I think our squad is solid out here. Like, I think they a solid bunch out here. I think we can do it. They a solid team. It's time to start. It's time to stop. All right, cool. How many monsters does she have? Cause I know I got seven, so she got... Oh, she got seven. Oh, okay. Wait, no, I got eight. Yeah, I got eight of these jokers up in here. Okay, good. I always want to have more than them. <laughs> Skip them. All right, so we're going to... I'm gonna get our Exodia piece summoned. Go ahead and get that baby dragon. Get him ready. Give me that larva moth. <laughs> no, I said give me that larva moth. Oh, we can't get you. All right, go ahead and get. Who is this behind you? Oh, Karibo. Hmm, maybe. But go ahead and get the other piece. There we go. Our front front line is here. The flunkies. They're here. They're in the front and they're ready to attack. I'll show you techniques that you haven't even imagined. That sounds funny. It's my turn. Okay, I got a lot of AP now. There you go. Yeah, I'm happy about that now. All right, we're going to awaken these guys because I'm not going to have these guys not awaken. So even if they can't move, we awaken everybody. Like, right, skip that. Hey, right, we got to get these guys awakened, man. Even if nobody moves, we awakening these guys. All right, cool. They, they Somebody can move. That's good. Uh, we're going to move that baby dragon. We'll move the leg. The other leg. Cool. We got a leg up there. <laughs> a long leg up on the battlefield. That leg is on the battlefield. Is that the snail thing? But anyway. Okay, we got all our pieces ready to roll. They ready to roll. Alright, go out there, baby dragon. Be a hero. There you go. You go. Lava them off. You get in the ring. You go. You get yo. <laughs> you over here off to the side. Cool. You can you move? Okay, you can. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Cool. That leg moved first, but he ain't that far away from everybody. I don't want the units to be too far away from the rest of them because then they are susceptible to, I guess, just being jumped in the corner. And I don't want my units to be jumped in the corner because it seems like if they jumped in the corner, they just they just gonna get beat. They can't get beat down like that. So I guess they win monsters just getting buffed out here. I guess I guess that's what they're trying to tell. Me. So, um, okay, well, I got a win monster. Here he go. Okay, well, he can't really do too much right there. Let's just move up there a little bit. Get right there. Okay, how do you move again? Okay, you move like that. All right, cool. They getting up there. They getting up there. Yeah, they doing their thing out here. They hopping along. 
This is funny how they move into. Okay, Karibo. Karibo the veteran. All right, so that larva moth got left behind. I saw it. <laughs> it was, it was kind of not good because we need that larva moth to level up. I'm wondering if that larva moth can. Uh oh, I sacrificed the man. I'm wondering if that larva moth gonna mean something. Okay, so he's getting sacrificed, but his piece is right here, so it's time for him to take some damage now. Like. That was a very brave thing you did to Baby Dragon, but it was a very risky thing you did to Baby Dragon, because now, now, you gonna get beat now, the Larva Moth. Can the Larva Moth beat him? Oh, well, I guess he can. And the Larva Moth was gonna do a lot of damage to him, though. Okay, so what I will probably do then, if knowing that the Larva Moth can do that much damage to him, which is nice, uh, I might get the Karibo started on him. Okay, we're going to get the Karibo started on you. And then we're going to have the Larva Moth finish the job then. Because it looks like this Larva Moth is going to do his thing out here. Larva Moth, finish that job. Actually, I should have the baby dragon finish the job, actually. Yeah, I might have the baby dragon finish the job. Because, like, if the baby dragon can, like, just get him from right here. Oh, he can't beat him? Okay, well. You ain't finishing nothing then, baby dragon. You're going to get finished. All right, Larva Moth. Take him out. Good job, Larva Moth. Go. Okay, I might have to have this baby dragon retreat. Okay, so those two did a good job. Okay, so he can do some good stuff, too. He do some good work, too. All right, what type are you? You're forest, okay. So maybe she can do some damage to it. Oh, he's fire. No, he is fire. He's not forest. Why did it say he was forest then? Yeah, that's... Oh, no, man. I, was, I wasn't looking at it correctly. Okay. Yeah, that guy's fire. You don't want to mess with him. Tangle with that guy. Okay, I could, but then this... This is... It's baby dragon to get pieced off. So I know what happened to that baby dragon. It's not good. Yugi, it's not polite to keep a lady waiting. You don't have to be quiet, you. All right, let's go ahead and throw, I guess, this thing right here. I don't want to lose, but, oh, yeah, I got this thing, too, so it's not that bad. Yeah, we'll throw the arm here. I mean, the leg of the arm here. Yeah, so we'll have this thing started off, and then we'll throw the arm of the leg there. And that, that'll, that'll work. So let's get the fortress, the moving fortress right here. Yeah, get the moving fortress right in the way. Go. Okay, moving fortress did good. All right, let's go ahead and put the arm out here because the arm is good. Hopefully the arm got enough damage it can do, though. Okay, good. The arm is powerful, too. Get that arm leveled up. Level that arm up. Yeah. All right, cool. And I know the arm will survive, too, which I'm also happy about. So move him there. Uh, get this leg out on board. Get the leg out on deck. And the help. The legs are good defenses, so I like having the legs right there. Uh, you probably will be back here, I guess. All right, cool. All right, that seemed pretty good. So hopefully... Hopefully they go for the legs, because the legs should be pretty, you know, can't do too much. There we go. Yeah, get the leg. Legs will take the damage. Oh, I didn't know that. That arm can't take that damage. Maybe the legs ain't, the arms ain't that good. Uh-oh. It's gone. <laughs> oh, never, man. I sacrificed that arm. Man, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> That arm sure did get beat right there. Is that the heartbeat like this? 
Now the harpy legs coming out. Now? Oh man, them legs just die. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's let's keep it going though. Let's keep it going. Okay, can't do nothing with you. That's a shame. Okay, knowing that that that's the case. Oh no, you can't do anything, man. I should have not moved you back. I should have left you where you stood. All right, it's all good. Let's uh, see if you can... I can't do anything. Okay. Well, at least I know I don't have to move that leg. It's dead. Yugi, it's not polite to keep a leg... Don't you rush me. I'm trying to beat you. Okay, I can't move you there either. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I got to beat this guy. Are you a fire? Okay, that's a fire type. Got to beat the fire type, man. Fire type is making me mad. Okay, but I got the leg. Uh, this leg can still... If you don't be quiet. She got to be quiet. I can't even play with her getting in the way. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and move you here. Let's make sure I, I know I can move these guys in the right spot. Okay, so this guy will also be able to attack only. Okay, since you can only attack this one, let's get that started. Attack it. Okay. And this Karibo can not move here for some reason. So I gotta beat that before that Karibo can even move over there, which is funny, but makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's see how can you move, though. Okay, so you can't move there until I get rid of that, okay. And you can't really attack it, right? I can't, okay. Okay, not many things I can do here, so let's go ahead and just beat that. Let's beat this guy. Destroy it. Get that flame manipulator out of the way. It's gone. No, that's not going to do much. All right. Sit there. Sit there. All right. You get get on the get on the board. Go ahead and uh, you ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> like, what can you do? All right. Uh, you, you, the leg, can the leg can do some damage? Yeah, that leg can do some damage right there. Let that leg do some damage, man. Tired of you. Leg attack. My favorite piece. The left leg and the right leg of Exodia. They just they just great pieces, man. The left leg and the right. The arms kind of suck, though. I don't know why the arms suck. The arms just suck. It's weird. You would think the arms would be good, but they're not. All right, move her up, because I know she's going to come in handy. Uh, the larva moth going to come in handy, too, man. That larva moth out here ain't playing. Move my Karibo up. Okay, that baby dragon getting left behind because I don't want him dead. <laughs> so he just, he'll move up when he need to, but he can't. Uh oh Not my leg. My leg. My leg hurt. Oh, my leg almost dead. <laughs> hey, they about to beat the leg again, man. Look, they always taking these legs. <laughs> hey, I'm never going to use them Exodia pieces. Ah, they going down. Yeah, next time I'm just going to put one Exodia piece in there. And I might have to keep a leveled up guy in there. Because them Exodia pieces just get beat down here. We can't bring them up into the high levels. They're getting beat down here. All right. What are we making the wind monster stronger again? Aw, oh, man. These wind monsters always going to be strong. They always going to be strong, man. Let's see. Okay, let's. Okay, the harpy ladies are out on. The, is that Jin Jin Bakuda? What? What? You Pegasus now? What you get doing with Jin Jin Bakuda? Anyway, let's go ahead and get these harpy ladies out of the way, man. Get them out of my sight. Larva Moth. Let's go. Okay, I want Larva Moth to level up, so we, we're not going to do it like that. Okay, so I got this Karibo. Okay, you can't do anything. I got this Karibo, and I know the Karibo can probably wage an assault. 
Yeah, that Karibo can. Okay, let me see how this moves, though. Okay. I think it'll still be able to attack it, though, if it gets over there or something. Yeah, and if it gets over there. Okay, so he's fine. So I'm going to move the Karibo right in range and then start coming after it. So we're going to move Karibo right here. And get him started. Or I could get this one started, actually. Hmm. I might get this one started and then have the wind guy. Yeah, and the wind guy can attack this thing right here, right? The wind guy don't even have to move. Yeah. So I'm at the wind guy attack. Yeah, go for it. Perfect. <laughs> now your harping lady is going down today. All right. So go ahead and you get this harping lady out of the way. There you go. Okay, that harping lady looking defeated right there. That's a defeated harping lady right there. Now that's Larvamoth, you. <laughs> that's Larvamoth. Okay, so I can't beat it in one shot. Okay, so we ain't gonna try to beat it in one shot then. All right, so Karibo, move on up. Good job, Karibo. Go ahead, start some damage. There you go, Karibo. It's a good Karibo right there. All right, so that Karibo doing its thing. All right, go ahead. Let's put this animation on. That way we can see it again. Because we ain't saw an animation in a minute. Let's see one. <laughs> like, let's see an animation. Let's see a, a, a harpy lady get defeated. Okay, so that's our card. That's the, uh, the Sonic Maid. And yeah, we beat the harpy lady too. Okay, that was it. So we're going to take those off again. <laughs> it's like it ain't, it ain't much to those. But uh, they do have them, though. They didn't cut them at the Duelist of the Roses. Thank goodness, right? People at the Duelist of the Roses wouldn't have been happy if they cut them after that. Okay, let's get here just in case that thing tries to move and gang, gang up on some people. Oh, I forgot to take it off. Can I skip it? Yeah, I'm going to take these animations off. I can't skip them. These animations are unstoppable. Oh, well. Let's see his. We didn't see his attacks before anyway. Oh, there you go. Boom. Now, I wonder if these are the same ones from Duelist of the Roses. They actually look better than the ones from Duelist of the Roses, though. So I'm, I'm leaning towards, no, they're not the same ones. But they might be, though. I don't know. Okay, we're going to keep baby dragon pack because i don't think baby dragon can do it like i don't want baby dragon getting killed up in here but i'll move it up a little bit but that's about it like like if baby dragon can't do it and he gonna do nothing but die then get him out of there okay cool oh man i forgot it <laughs> i keep forgetting to skip those animations man I got to see Karibo get hit by the... Oh, man. Whatever that thing is supposed to be. Like, whatever this thing is supposed to be, I got to see this, man. I don't want to see this. What you doing to my Karibo? Karibo, no! All right. Save my Karibo. I don't want to lose Karibos. Don't let my Karibo fall. All right. Anyway, uh, there go... Okay, there go that... Uh, Jinjin Baku does here, man. Oh. Got to take that Jinjin Bakuda down, man. He shouldn't have showed up. All right. Let's move him up. The baby dragon. Cannot do anything, <laughs> man. That sucky baby dragon. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, let me check what that compatibility thing is. But uh, let's go ahead and get this guy out the way. Uh, I guess I could have Petite Moth do it. But uh, I can't beat that guy. So let's let's get you. I'll let her do it. Defeat. Defeat it. Time for you to go down. I forgot to take off the animations again. Okay, so I'm going to take off these animations because we'll never get through this. I, I know there's one more person I got to fight now. It's Mako. And then that'll be, we'll call the video after Mako goes. 
I'm having fun. It just take a long time. Like, these missions are not happening quick. They take a long time to get through. But, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. It's just taking a long time. Long time. Long, long, long time. Okay, so you can't do that, man. Can the Karibo get it started? Okay, I think Karibo can get you started. Karibo, get us started. Okay, let's take those animations off. There you go. It's nice that it does have an animation off feature on there. That I do appreciate that the game has that. Okay, so let's move the wind thing. The wind thing cannot get them. Oh, well, move it there. All right, let's go ahead and have you finish the job. There we go. Perfect. All right, destroy Jinjin Bakuda. I always like that name, Jinjin Jin Bakuda. It's a cool name. He gone now. Yes, it was. Even though I lost, I don't regret anything. You lost. You lose. Loser. The Yugi slide to the thing. Gotcha. Victory. It's mine. You lose. Yugi, there are two ways of losing. One way is to lose everything. The other way is to lose a battle in order to win the war. I'm going to learn from this loss so that I can become stronger. And I will beat you in the future. And I will achieve my dream in the end. I fought with all my strength, and I know you did the same. This was an excellent match. It was not an excellent match, but it's over. Her harpy ladies kind of suck, though. It's almost like Rex had a boss monster and the rest of these guys don't. It's weird. Like, was Rex supposed to be the last person I'd fight? Because I sure did fight him first. Okay, Karibo leveled up. Good. And so did uh, Sonic Maid. Nice. And, and the Larva Moth. Yeah, that Larva Moth deserved it. And what's that ability? Acquired special ability. Soothing Wood. Whatever that's supposed to be. But, um, yeah, that Larva Moth deserved it, man. Okay, so I can take something from her. Uh, let's get this Jinjin Baku duck. I ain't never seen this before. And where the Harping Ladies at? Oh, we can just get two Harping Ladies from her. Let's just get two Harping Ladies from her because I don't care about the Jinjin Baku duck. Like, is there anything about him that I care about? Nothing. Just nothing. Let's get these. Uh, well, I guess I don't need two Harping Ladies because I, I, I did say I'm going to do that rule of just using one anyway, so. We'll get one Harpy Lady. But I do feel as though I should get two. Because ain't the Harpy Lady sisters a thing? But what's the point if you don't get a bunch of them? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Now, I can always fight her again and get the other ones. But what am I going to do with Jin Jin, Jin Ken Baku, though? Like, what is he going to do? Let me see. What's his health? What was his health points? Where is his health points? Yeah, I don't know how you see none of their stats on this, man. But uh, that's a hard decision. Do I get Harping Lady, another Harping Lady, or Jin Gen Bakuda, man? I guess we're going to go with our rule and get the Jin Gen Bakuda. That's so we have something else new. But, I mean, watch him be in the shop and then Harping Lady never be in the shop. We're going to get this Harping Lady. I feel like Jin Gen Bakuda going to appear in the shop one day. I don't even know why he was there. Anyway, we're going to get the two Harping Ladies. Skip it. They got Jink and Bakuda up in the shop, man. What? What? I mean, he need to be up in the shop, but he ain't. They gave us a drooling bird or whatever that thing was in the shop. All right, anyway. And he talking about, I got new monsters, Yugi. I got new monsters. At the end of this video, we're probably going to go to the shop and mess with the new monsters so we don't have to do it the next. That way, when the next video comes, we can just roll into the tier, tier three, I think, right? Tier three. It's a good game, man. It's a cool game. All right, let's deal with Mako, the Sea of Miracles, they call it. Sea of Miracles. What the? What's this pose going to be? This sucker, sucker standing like this, man. I am the king of the fishermen, the legendary fisherman. Actually, Mako talked in the same cadence as Rock Lee from Naruto, so I don't know if there's anything to that, but it was very odd to me. The Sea. Has been purged. <laughs> the sea has been purged. There's 
nothing more breathtaking than the majestic vastness of the ocean. <laughs> I don't think you're taking our duel seriously, Mako. On the contrary, I am taking it extremely seriously. I'm just confirming that your forces will not stand a chance against the power of the crashing waves and the... He was talking a long time, I had to be quiet, huh? Then that's a mistake. Be quiet, Mako. Wherever you are, watch me attain victory by conquering Yugi with my aquatic army. It's time to duel, Yugi. Yeah, he talking the same cadence as Rock Lee. It's, it's very odd, but I never understood why. I don't know if there's a certain thing that they told them for certain characters in Japanese where they speak differently. And they tried to emulate that and they, oh, I'm going first. Good. I got a five. Perfect. Okay, so how many monsters am I going to have for this one? Am I five, six, seven, eight? What we at here? Let me get eight so I can get my full guys on the board, level them up. Keep pushing through and, you know, doing my thing out here. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. What we got here. Seven. Okay, seven ain't bad. All right, so um, so our leg from exhaust. Okay, these two legs and arms died, so that wasn't great. Uh, the Arba Moth did good, but um, I don't know if we want it for this, though. Actually, we probably do. Ain't, the, ain't this good for... Um, the water monsters? I don't know. I don't know what really beat the water monster. I thought electricity should. Does dark beat them? Or did earth? Wait, earth beat wind. And wind beat... Oh, no. What What was the triangle here, man? Whatever. I can't remember. I, I, I really can't remember the triangle. The triangle was weird. Like, I could throw in a Harpy Lady just to train her. But, let's get the Harpy Lady trained up. Okay, so we got this Two-Headed King Rex, who I do like. We got the Gear Moving Fortress, which I also do like. Let's see. We might put the Gear Moving Fortress back in. Like, he takes up so much, though, man. And that's something that's called just, you know he gonna be a heavy hitter. But let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can make something with these guys. Okay, so we got them. Because we still want to train them, at least. Uh, where's the Kaminari attack? We're probably going to throw him in there, too. Because we do want to get him trained up properly. I mean, he's at three. But, you know, throw him back in there. Man. Skip him. We need our weak, strong monsters to be in there. Now, I like Arvamoth. So, we're going to throw him in there. <laughs> like, And he getting an ability. So, I don't know if his ability is good. But he got one. Okay, they go Karibo. They go to the leg. <laughs> Rebo in the leg. Um, I guess we can put in this. Oh, we can't put in the two headed King Rex now. We ran out of money. Or not money, but you know, stuff. Wait, how much was Larva Moth? Larva Moth might have to get taken out here real quick, actually. Let's see, let's take out Larva Moth, and then can we afford him in something extra? I know she's a bunch of points. Like, here's this guy. And like, here's a Karibo. I guess I can throw a Happy Lover, I guess. Which is nearly pointless, but, you know. But I might as well put Two-Headed King Rex in, because Two-Headed King Rex is good, man. Like, I'm trying to train this Gear Golem the Moving Fortress, but... <laughs> I mean, I mean, he sure is moving, but, I mean, like, come on here. We might have to put in some weak stuff just to train some good stuff. Like, I really want this Larva Moth, too, man. I like Larva Moth. Look at him. He can look good. He look like he going to do some stuff. What is his ability? Like, he was getting an ability, too. Like, Larva Moth was good, man. All right, so we got those guys. Uh, I might throw Petite Moth in there just to get killed. I don't know. Well, Happy Lover is a good tank, so we, we'll throw Happy Lover. Oh, we can't put Happy Lover in. Oh, yeah, we can yeah, Happy Lover was a good tank, so we'll, we'll throw it in as our light monster. So let's go with those guys. We got two out of King Rex in here, at least. And we got the Moving Fortress. Like, the Moving Fortress is good. Like, I know that Moving Fortress is decent. And we got them. All right, let's pick where our guys are going to go. We are going to put... Get that two-headed King Rex up there on the front lines, man. On the front lines. Front lines. Front lines. 
All right, go ahead and put the gear moving fortress all here too. Put them over here on the side lines. Side front lines. Side front lines. Uh, Harping lady number two. Oh, she got quite a range of movement. Throw her out there. Uh, ooh, yeah. My our thunder monster on the other side. Let's go. Okay, we got Karibo. Uh, put Karibo out here. The leg. The leg. Leg right there. That'll be good. And the happy lover right there. All right, cool. They got some pretty good movement, too. So that's nice. That, that seemed pretty good. Uh, the time wizard die because I don't see time wizard is able to be used right now. Like, if our capsules keep dying, do they just permanently die? I didn't see time wizard when I was looking through. Like, I hope they didn't die. I hope I didn't just take time wizard out of the circulation either. But uh, anyway, let's just open these capsules. Let's go. Couldn't afford them anyway if we wanted to. So we're gonna get this two headed King Rex ready. Get him ready. And we're gonna get the, uh, uh, I guess this guy. And yeah, we'll get the Karibo. Get the Karibo out. And that's Harpy Lady. This is the Happy Lover. We'll probably get this guy out. Yeah. Because he takes so much, so he'll be useful to just have him out. Okay. So we got three of them summoned. And he got one, two, three, four, five, six. He has six monsters. All right, how many can you actually awaken out of your six? Okay, you moved this guy back. That's weird. That is wild. Okay, let's go get this guy, man. Since why he just doing stuff like that. I mean, come on now. I, will use all my strength to defeat you. I think I should just awaken all these guys and just start moving things, man. Like, okay, get you awakened real quick. Look at this raid. Right, get you awakened. And death with you. And you too while we're here. Alright, so we got all those guys going. Uh, we'll move you probably later. I know moving him is going to take a lot though. And move him. Get in there. And get that Karibo to, to back you up. Alright. Yeah, that seemed pretty good to me. That seems pretty good. Like, he still got to awaken, like, a bunch of his things. Okay. Is that brute water? Where he going? Whatever. <laughs> what? So, I guess some of his monsters just on the run. Don't, don't know why, but whatever. So, I think we can attack this guy. Yeah, let's get this guy. Let's just start off attacking, man. Skip it. Oh, he got some defense to him. That's nice. Let's move you on up, even though you can't really do too much up there. So let's wait. Move him up. Hopefully he can draw an attack out. Like, I just want to use that as a tank decoy. Oh, but yeah, we can get you. Karibo going to do some damage. I guess Karibo can't finish him, though. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. We'll get him next time. Uh, the moving fortress. Get right there. That's a moving fortress right there. Yeah. Okay, you can... Oh, wow. So then they all move in a spot that's... That's funny. Wow. That's very funny there. Yeah. I'm going to move her right there, though. I'm going to move the leg up here. And then he just ain't going to move. That way that leg is up on the on the board. Okay. That's that's not bad. I think we off to a great start. Like, we got to deal with that one dude. That's right there. He got to hatch his things to... Oh, he got one of those, man. Wow. Yeah, that's the smart one to attack. That way you whittle down this thing's health. But that thing got some chunk to him, though. He got some chunky health, man. He ain't going in our fight. Okay, so I don't know what Mako doing out here. It's like Mako is trying to... I don't know what Mako is doing, man. Like, Mako is trying to uh, employ some tactics, but his tactics look bad. His tactics look like he can't do anything, man. 
It looks bad. Okay, so we can go ahead and have Harpy Lady take him out. Yeah, his tactics look real bad. Harpy Lady's gonna take him out. So she can get some experience on the board, so that's good. Okay, that was nice. Uh, let's see what this Karibo can... Yeah, Karibo can get him started. Yeah, we're doing pretty good out here. Okay, well, that getting them started didn't do too much, but it did something. It did something. Something is better than nothing, right? Okay, that's not good right there. That, that's not good. All right, let's move you up. Like, you are just going to be our tank, to be honest. So I guess I could just throw you out here, but we'll see. Let's move you to defeat this thing. Wait, can you attack the egg? Wow, that would be funny. Oh, you can't beat it. Okay. What happens if we attack the egg? Oh, we can destroy it. Destroy the egg. Huh? <laughs> we can just destroy the egg before it even come out. That's funny. So get rid of the egg. Okay, so we got rid of the egg. Um, I will throw you right here just to defend. Like, if you get sacrificed, it's all good. <laughs> like... Like, I am not banking on you to do anything, really. Um, let's see. I can move you out here now to get you on the board so you actually can do something. And this guy kind of needs to be somewhere. I don't know. I guess I can't move that guy now. So, yeah, get over here. Perfect. All right, cool. That's it. So, hopefully we don't lose a bunch of guys. But if we do, we do, you know. It's a tank. Oh, it ain't tanky. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. That's what it is. Oh, it ain't about to tank nothing. Oh, man. I could have sworn one of them was tanky. This must not be the one. This <laughs> this one done. <laughs> oh, man. Whoops. Okay, well, at least it's still alive, but the two-headed King Rex is looking pretty bad right now, too. They looking like they about to get beat. Oh, uh, well, we just sacrificed that happy lover. Oh, well. Wait, what's happening here? What What we got? To... What's going on? What? <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Where my pieces are? Are my pieces on land now? Like, what's going on here? I was fine with the open seat, man. What's going on now? I'm laughing that I did get rid of his capsule, though. I thought that was very funny. Like, his capsule had to get beat. All right, where my guys? Okay, my guys on a ship now? Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's move you. Hmm. I'm going to leave you right there for now. Let's see here. Can't really attack that or that. So you're kind of useless, which is unfortunate. You can't really get them either. Okay, so what I see here is we can't really do too much. Like, we can move him in to, like, because I don't want to just keep him out here to die. So I might move him back and then have Karibo try to kill this guy. Even though Karibo has been proven to not be able to do it. Yeah, so we're going to move. Wait a minute. Let's see here. So you get a power. Uh, you get, yeah, you actually are better here. Then over there. So you're going to go out here and you're going to fight. You're just going to fight. You're just going to fight. Like, you just fight it. Um, if she dies, she dies. She's fighting, though. Let's see here. And this Karibo that's right here. Okay, let's see if I can beat you. Can I? Okay, I can't beat you. Okay, so that's something to think about. Okay, here's Karibo. 
who can get right here and take this thing out. Oh, it can't. Okay. Well, Karibo cannot take that thing out. But I can put Karibo right here to run some interference. And I can have you take this out. Do it. So at least you're going to level up before you go down. If you do go down, you're going to level up first. Well, not yet, but you know, you're going to get some experience, some good experience first. Okay, here's the Exodia leg. Move him out to hopefully draw some type of attention. Okay, here's this fortress guy who's, don't know what he's supposed to be doing out here, but throw him out. Wait, what? Oh, so he gets more power there then. But he gets defense up here, so he's not that bad. Get right there. And, yeah, I guess that's it for us. All right, that's it. All right, let's see what we can do now. Let's see. So he got three more left, and then he's done. He is cooked. Okay, so he should survive. How much she's going to have, though? Okay, she's a great monster. Okay, perfect. So, fantastic monster. And you know Karibo gonna survive. So, as long as that guy's not getting attacked, that's good. Well, that was... Okay, but Karibo got it. Okay, good. We're doing good now. Yeah, we're doing good. Good. Alright, so let's get that woot water and that other thing out the way. That woot water. Okay, so she... I'm probably gonna let her defeat this guy. Yeah, defeat it. Take it out. Get your level. I mean, well, get your experience. All right. So I'm going to have you start this. Start it off. And then I'm going to have two headed King Rex come in there and finish the job. No. Yes. Now you go in there and finish that job, King Rex. Do it. Destroy. Good job, King Rex. All right, King Rex doing his thing out here. All right. And now you cannot get that at all. So let's not even move you. Can you? Can you attack that thing? No, I can't. It's in a weird, awkward space. All right, maybe you can get it started. Oh, you can. Okay, perfect then. Attack it then. Get him started. It's hard to get that guy, man. Okay. Oh, you almost leveled up too. That's funny. So just don't die so you can level up. Go right there. We'll get him at some point. All right. And I guess that's about it. Probably should have moved the other guy, but that, that'll be fine. Anyway, end. Yep, can't move nothing else. Can't move nothing else. So hopefully King Rex don't somehow get annihilated. That'll be annoying. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, I wasn't concentrating. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, yeah, we ain't gonna have that happen here. No, 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 not that. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can move something else, though. Okay, we're going to take that sucker out. We ain't letting that happen. All right, that looks bogus. Hmm. Okay, we're going to move the leg, and then we're going to probably have him finish the job if he can. So let's move the leg. Oh, man, the leg can't get him. Well, I guess we can still have him do some stuff, too. But they like they're not gonna be able to beat them though. Oh man, it's looking bad. Attack it. Got him. Cool. I had to move into the water to fortify his power. Let's get him out of here. Level up. Get your level up, too. Cool. That's the end of Mako. Mako tried to cheat us. Mako cheating tsunami. 
He tried to get us too. It wasn't gonna work. We waiting on that sucker. Yu-Gi-Oh. He is gone. Like the wind. Dusty. Excellent duel, Yugi. You were quite the expert yourself. You were defeated. Thank you. But there's no need. You were quite annoying yourself. I did my best, but I came up a little short. Good. <laughs> next time, I will win. You will lose. So save your pity. You will see how much stronger I will become. There won't be a next time. I'm looking forward to it. You lose. <laughs> You lose. Yeah, level him up. That's that's not not level him up. Okay, cool. The gear moving fortress is moving on up. Yeah, I'm happy that he leveled up. Uh, Harpy lady deserved to level up, but we'll see if she does or not. Nah, not quite, but close, close, very close. And that Karibo getting up there too. The leg gets to level up again, like he always does. Yeah, two-headed King Rex. Yeah, the leg is on level four. Yeah, it's like the leg is the only thing that can level up here. Okay, so let's get the Fiend Kraken, I guess. Who didn't even get a chance because we took him out before he could get out there. Which was hilarious. Uh, and I, I think that thing is free, right? So let's get this, I guess. I don't, well, root water because we don't have root water. Yeah, let's get root water. Okay. So, yeah, we got, we did good. I can't wait to see what's in the shop. We're going to check out the shop now, and then we're going to call the video a day. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, because, like, uh, I'm happy to be doing them. Uh, I like this game, and I was going to put it on the channel before I talk about these games and everything, too. So, hope you guys are enjoying them. Let me know if there's something else you want to see or something. But, like I said, after this, I'm going to be heading back to the Trails of series to finish the Cold Steel game. It's almost there. That game is like 65% done, if not more. So it, it, that, that series is almost done. But, yeah, I started. I, I've been waiting to play this for a while. I've been holding myself back on not playing it because part of me wanted to just run this game and not put none of it on YouTube, <laughs> which would have been hilarious. So let's go to the interest hall. Let's go to the hall. The shop. That shop is here. Oh, that grandpa. That grandpa is here. Let me show you some new monsters I acquired. What would you like to do? That grandpa got new monsters. Let's see what new monsters he got. He got the same old happy lover in here. Liar. Alright, so the lucky trinket. Uh, Ginning is back. Man. Petite Angel is here now. Lamoon is here. I like Lamoon. I might get on Lamoon. Let's get on Lamoon. Uh, Karibo. Okay, you got Fair. Oh, Curse of Dragon is here. Oh, Dark Magician Girl here too? Oh, let's get that. And Curse of Dragon. Come on. Anime. We uh, we like the anime now. Oh, next episode going to be beautiful. All right, there go Blast Juggler. Oh, we got the Cherubin Fire Knight? Whoa, wow. We getting the anime stuff now. Finally. Grandpa... Grandpa ain't playing around now. Let's see. We might, might buy that too. Wow. Doing his thing. I hit Toadmaster here. I like him in Rashid for Destruction. Don't like him here though. This dinosaur guy? <laughs> I don't care about that dinosaur guy. Okay, what else y'all got in? Y'all got Giant Soldier just on. Y'all got King Tiger Wuha. I mean, Wong Hu. Okay, they go Petit Dragon. I mean, Petite Dragon. I like Petite Dragon. I might get it, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, okay, Faith Bird is in here now. Oh, Wing Dragon Guardian Fortress 1 is there. Let's get him. No, why he's so expensive? Oh, man eating bug here? Man, we don't get that man eating bug. Let's get that man eating bug. I like the selections this time. Finally, some good stuff. Okay, the electric stuff kind of suck. Metro Lizard, no, oh, no. Two Mouth Dark Ruler, no, oh, no. I don't know about all that. Okay, but yeah, we got some good stuff in here this time. Cool. So, yeah, I didn't even know they had Dark Magician Girl in this game. So that's good. 
So we can level up. Where Dark Magician at, though? When y'all gonna give me him? I want Dark Magician, too. Just give me the girl and don't give me Dark Magician, man. Look at that Blast Juggler for some reason. Like, he was gonna be decent. Yeah, we got her. She right here in the game. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and select our cards. I buy all six of those suckers. Yeah. What would you like to do? That's all I need, man. Oh, oh let me go ahead and uh, put them in the in the thing. What would you like to hey, do? Leave me alone, you. Leave me alone, you. Leave me alone. All right. So now that he's done bothering me, manage the monsters. Let's manage the monsters. Okay, so now that we're managing the monsters, let's go ahead and switch over, switch over. All right, let's add La Moon. Let's add uh, Dark Magician Girl. Let's add Curse of Dragon. Let's see, who else? Cherubi, the Fire Knight. All right, Winged Dragon Guardian of Fortress, add him. Mm, maybe the man eating bug. I don't know. On the Saturday, so we'll leave that. We'll just leave that bear for now. So I'm starting to see monsters that I'm probably just never gonna use, and <laughs> Fire Viper probably won't get used. Um, the second Harpy Lady probably also won't get used, cause like to be honest, I don't really need two of them right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna can one. And I guess I'll let's see who else is here. Like I don't really see myself using the Fire Reaper at all, so I'm gonna can him too. Um, I'm gonna put Dark Magician Girl right there just so she's there. But uh, yeah, I'm canning him. Uh, where, where is? He? There she go. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because, like, some of these guys, like this Petite Moth, I, I'll probably never use the Petite Moth either. Like, I, I, I don't remember, though, is there something special about the Petite Moth or not, though? There was something to it, and I just cannot remember what it was. But, um, yeah, that, that's it. I, I don't think I'm going to use the little fire guy. I'll put him back in. I might. We'll see. I just don't want him taking up a slot if I can help it. So I don't have to keep coming back here, so... Cause, Cause I'm not gonna use them, I'm just not. Like I'm getting to a point where there are certain people I'm gonna use and certain people that I'm just never gonna use. Like this happy lover probably will never get a shot again, and I can't even take it out. Like it, it's never getting a shot again because it failed. It failed badly, and the, the legs and the arms they failed too. So we will see. But anyway, that'll be the end of the video right there. Uh, Oh, I probably should save before I end this video. Otherwise, I'm going to be doomed. But yeah, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters. It got me tired. I want to keep playing this game, too. Mm. I'm debating if I'm going to do the next episode or not. Like today, man. I don't, I don't know. I probably should save it for tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll just waste the whole day. But anyway, um, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, this, was, this, was, this was very fun, man. I love this game. Yeah, the game probably has some issues, but I like it. And you can make it harder. Like if it if the issue is difficult, you can make it more difficult. Like just just play bad, put some weak cards, don't level them in. You it'll be hard. But anyway, that's about it. I'm out, line man, and I'm out. Take care, and see you in the next one. Um, I'm gonna put the playlist stuff down below if you didn't hear it at the beginning. All right, take care.